Uh, wait, yeah, we should probably post this in oh, we are, the chat. It says, it says we're live now. Okay. Oh, we're live? Okay. Yeah, we're live. What's up, Vegas? Hey, there you go. <laughs> Welcome to the Zeta Zone, <laughs> where we'll be talking about things oh, like... Up tilts. Up tilts. <laughs> Walk forward, forward tilt five times in a row. <laughs> Grab, back throw, forward smash. Exactly. Things <laughs> things that you don't think would work, but do work quite often. Down throw, they don't tech. You punish them because Actually, they don't tech. It was, it was super funny. Today, I was looking at the Facebook thing that brings up your yearly things, whatever. And exactly two years ago, we were trying to get the Zeta Zone trending. <laughs> so I don't know what tournament we were at, but Steve was all hyped about it. We were trying it, so. to hashtag Zeta Zone. Hashtag I, I Zeta Zone. I, I think I vaguely remember So that was that. two years ago. Yeah. We were trying to get that that hashtag on it and it didn't didn't go very far so. <laughs> it's a little sad okay guys so i guess welcome to all the news players uh are we just introduce ourselves so hi guys i'm bacon i'm sword saint and i'm the spy machine all right and we're going to be doing the the rankings reveal this season so the you know what is this spring or winter which one do we call this one uh, i just we just go by quarters now okay first yeah, quarter yeah we just say quarter one, i guess yeah. it'll, honestly it'll be a uh, winter but it's winter going into spring so <laughs> that's why yeah, that's why it got really so weird. convoluted when we were well doing i mean it also yeah. depends like okay what do you view the power ranking as is it right. what when it started the when current it good players in vegas are or yeah. that season good yeah, players that was we always have this yeah. debate <laughs> okay press, right, so let's... press one if it's winter season press two if it's spring season let's see <laughs> we're gonna have to wait a while or just the press buffer. three it's q1 2017 yeah. <laughs> anyway so uh yeah. so bacon myself and the spy machine all already know the PR. Gus wanted to be surprised. I don't know what it, I'm gonna. This is gonna be natural reactions to the rankings. Are you Are you also the type that like doesn't want to know the sex of the baby? <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna get everything tested and figured out and chromosomed and everything. I don't know if there's gonna be so many difficulties coming ahead. So I'm gonna like stab that baby, take some <laughs> take some DNA. And you, you, can know, still, you can still not know the sex and just say, and to see hey, if you're really can the you baby make sure daddy? all of these other things. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right so. all right okay. if the baby me? doesn't come out up tilting it's, it's not mine <laughs> from here can you guys hear cameron if i do this i don't want to have to like lean, lean over yeah, and yell it's it's off the Wii. okay uh can you guys hear everyone oh, uh, you, you, you have it upside it. down so <laughs> you just release your uh, voice <laughs> yeah all right. okay oh um, lalo's in the chat now what up, lalo? most of my crew is here that's cool uh i don't see any mk i'm gonna uh, Cody was there, Cody was there earlier. Mason. Come on, guys. I saw Cody in the chat earlier. All right. So let's get to the rankings. Oh, All right. Do we want to talk about the theme? Oh, okay. Um, the so the the way that worked out, I did the the thing where I said, "Hey, th we're gonna vote on it, but not necessarily is going to be um, what the theme is." Basically, if it's something that's like clearly really trolly, then we go to the next step. Um, but this one, actually, a lot of the PR players really seem to care. Uh, Kyle and BDR, who never care about the theme, um, all of a sudden really wanted, uh, were like, oh, rappers sound sick. And it also got the highest amount of votes. So it was like... We didn't pick rappers. <laughs> so we went with cats. <laughs> because cats. that's what my crew wanted. We went with cats. Cats. Uh, I thought we went cat with in the box. I thought we went with rappers with a W. Cat and tree? <laughs> that's, Christmas that's, tree rappers? That's what, that's what someone requested. Rappers. He's like, just a piece of foil over something. <laughs> McDonald's, the okay, in and out burger rappers. People are trying to... Okay, they're refreshing now. Apparently, Gibbles and Fernando didn't think it was on. Yeah, so. you, yeah uh, you haven't really missed anything except for the introduction, Gibbles. Oh, you might want to go the title double on. back on that. Okay. okay. The mouse? I lost the mouse. All right. All right. Are you fucking kidding me? A... No, we're not kidding you, Gibbles. <laughs> we're talking about cats. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. Have you have you seen the copy pasta about uh, hacks and Smashbox? The uh, you think uh, yeah you think Smashbox isn't legal or something? Are you kidding me? It's the, it's a copy pasta of that, but it's to hacks. And it's a uh, Mango breaks records. Armada breaks records. Hacks breaks his hand and is a rocket scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite tweet so far about that has been Hacks the uh, ergonomist expert should have told Hacks the melee player yeah, not, to, not, to, not to hurt himself. <laughs> so there goes that. Are we going to talk about the Smashbox tonight? Oh, we, we could talk a little bit about it. A little that's, bit later after the little bit about it. That's, that's a big it. box of yeah. can of worms. No, I'm pretty sure like <laughs> everyone in the Vegas box. community is going to fall pretty much in line because we all know who Dustin is. That's yeah. like the big thing. No one really knows who Dustin is outside of the Ace community. Okay. Rankings. Rankings. Okay, so. What's the theme? 
Oh, oh yeah. What's the thing, guys? <laughs> so it did. We just did rappers. Like I said, is it was a general consensus, and a lot of the PR actually was really into it. And to be clear, um, it's the people rappers, not n- the not things that rappers. <laughs> yeah, not the things that cover. Unless you are rappers who sing Christmas songs, then I don't really. Dude, know. have you seen? Have the, you seen DMX <laughs> right there? <laughs> DMX, DMX, yeah, DMX yeah, Rudolph yeah. the Red yeah. What? It's yeah. It's now actually Donner, sick. Now Blitzen. It's actually sick. After this, go Google DMX. Yeah, DMX. Right. Right. And is this a top ten, top eight? Um. So we have a top ten. We have the legendary Evan Award for twelfth place. Ooh. We have the almost award that uh, E40s got last time. Who had the Evan Award last time? Mason. Mason. Mason had the yeah. Evan Award last time, which I think is funny as shit. Um, <laughs> and then. Uh, the almost was E40s last time, and then we have the top ten. Uh, main reason was the uh, we were kind of debating top eight. I kind of wanted top eight, but the way the points split after like like six through ten or something were pretty close. So we just let it like play out for top ten. Our attendance has been kind of weak, but it was kind of weak last season. We did top ten anyway, um, and then we have the two honorable mentions uh, of. Players that would be high but didn't qualify. Uh, player that would be high and didn't qualify. Player that doesn't live here, and you can guess that one. You definitely um, guess the player. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right, but you want to kick yeah, it let's, off? Let's, right. go to let's, it. let's go. All right, so the Evan Award. The Evan Award. <laughs> oh, Evan Award. <laughs> Uh, he's Douglas. <laughs> All right. So Mike Hayes is the rapper. Wow. I like it. Okay. So Jared. So the Evan Award is the rank twelfth. The rank would have been ranked twelfth. Yeah, yeah, it's twelfth. All right. So Jared coming in. Didn't show up to too many tournaments, but and and just he enough, did and show a lot of them he, he left to. Yeah, yeah, and the JPEG event he didn't play after pools. Um, and and the last pones he went to he just. He just dipped, right? He didn't do well, dude. No, oh. he, he didn't do well at all. I believe that Pones, he had a hand injury. Yeah, oh, that's, that's right. right. That's yeah. Right. He, he actually... No, the one before that, he oh. did. This, the, the one after that. Actually, no, you're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he actually cut, month, right? he cut his finger doing yard work. And yeah, he had stitches. Like a, he had stitches like on his index finger. So I heard, yeah, I heard it was really bad. It was really bad. It was really bad, yeah. But, yeah, well... Bloody. So, uh, Jared, he's been in and out of practicing. He hasn't done consistent practicing for a while. Uh, he kind of floats around this level. The, yeah. He yeah. kind of just, you know, circles around the Evan Award. <laughs> and he's landed on it this time. <laughs> he, he comes in and out of being motivated to play and not being motivated and just kind of being busy with life. If he yeah. would ever just, like, stick for, like, four solid months of playing, I could easily see him mm-hmm. break top six, I think. Mm-hmm. My point of view on Jared is uh, we have... Uh, about three active Mars in Vegas. We have Pierre, Jared, and Lance. And Jared, I don't think, is the strongest one. But I think, at the same time, he's the closest to understanding how to be a good Marth. Because mm-hmm. I feel like most of our Mars here aren't that good. Because mm-hmm. when I play good Mars, I get bodied. Like, it's, it's a so scary, scary matchup. It's yeah, so scary. It's really scary. But Jared knows what he needs to be to, like, get to that level. Mm-hmm. It's just he doesn't execute it as much. And then... He's got other issues that prevent yeah. him. He, he definitely plays like a more uh, simplified version of Marth. More, like more fundamental, I right. guess is yeah. the right word. Where Lance is like, he really like gets into it. and tries little to bit of flash, much. yeah. Yeah. And Pyrrhic uh, just... Doesn't have faith. He doesn't have faith. <laughs> well, Lance... Lance <laughs> Once he's destroyed his faith, he, he's, he's a yeah. man. Lance's <laughs> edge game is way better than Jared's, but Jared's neutral, I feel like, is way better. Jared can control the middle of the stage a lot better, and Lance, once he gets you off the stage... He kills you. Yeah, like, he, knows yeah, he knows what to do. He's got the flow chart for edge guards Definitely. really well. I'm yeah, super scared of uh, against Lance when I'm off stage. Do this? I'm like, eh, probably. Because he'll, 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 he'll throw on a he'll throw on a smash yeah. half the he time. Will, he will let it rip. <laughs> and then and then I get I get so mad at him because I tell him that you can't. Your edge guards are terrible. He knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows what to do. Okay, so what's up for the Evan Award? So they oh, almost place? award eleventh place, okay. uh, which is actually. A kind of a failure because you didn't get the eleventh award. Uh, you, you didn't get the Evan Award, and you didn't make top ten. So <laughs> you should have played worse. And that goes out to uh, the next pl- person. <laughs> That's a not a rapper. That's, he's not a rapper. He's not a PR. That's super, <laughs> that super hot fire. If you're unfamiliar with super hot fire, I educated Cameron last night. Uh, that's next. Ad, you should have a WordPad document on things you need to Google. What was the first thing we said earlier? Uh, the, the song. The DMX. DMX Rudolph Reindeer. 
Super hot fire. That's the next thing. This is that looping gif of the guy casting out. That's the one. That's what I've seen him from. But he's not a rapper. It's a it's a rap battle, but he constantly says, "I'm not a rapper." And so he's not a PR, he's not a rapper. There we go. Um, So there's our other Marth that we were talking about. (laughs) Um, Basically what happened here, I think, based on the points, is if the number 10 didn't do so well at their previous tournaments, last two tournaments, and Lance here won like one or maybe two more games... Lance would have been. He would have made it. Would have been ranked. So it was. He took a loss to Prinny on Prinny's one of Prinny's comebacks, and that was probably another thing that. But I mean, the losing to Prinny isn't like a surprise. It's just tough because Prinny's points are weird right Mm -hmm. now, and. So he would have actually gotten a lot from that too, Mm -hmm. if he beat Prinny because he's Prinny was still still has enough points in the system, to get him high enough. So from his results, yeah. yeah. I was just gonna say that uh, Lance. He's been doing. Pretty like consistently throughout the season, like well, and he shows up, showed up. But I was, he like, got super surprised. Didn't he get gibbed? He did get gibbed. But yeah, I was gonna say his time. worst last probably getting gibbed. So that was pretty bad. But get most, gibbed. Most of the time, like, I think he did pretty well. Like no real big upsets. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think he took any. PR I don't think he had any big wins this season. So but no. he played more too, though. So that's yeah. what gibbed. he showed up to a lot of things yeah. this season. He wasn't a ghost cool. this season. Yeah, because usually when the last the time he did make it it was basically he he barely made the amount of tournaments but it's because he had like two or three good wins right and he did well with the arcadian at the oh, that's same time right that, that sent him that high up so this time he just sort of played consistent and played often mm-hmm. to, to stay here you only played oh. sk well then you need to beat more bad people <laughs> yeah i know right that means you're literally the worst person because sk is the best so yeah if you're that one, you got to beat at least one other person so well, you don't play. Okay, so he got screwed at one of the poems because I was trying to seed for regions. Uh-huh. And so he played SK oh, in the pool, okay. and then I just... They both end up winning their matches where Lance wasn't seeded to win his match, and so he played SK the very next round. Oh, so you had to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, had, you had two opportunities for that big bragging, right? And, oh, Lance, I just remember, you did play Pyrrhic last tournament. You had a chance to take him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. He, he said he uh, just was tilted. He was tilted the whole time. And he, uh, yeah, I watched a bit of that match. Actually, I watched the whole thing. I thought it was a really interesting match. Like, Lance pretty much, like, had neutral... Uh, maybe not neutral, but he was definitely... He was ahead of stocks, but then Pyrrhic just, like, won it out in the end. Like, just yeah. made that huge comeback, game one, and I think that kind of tilted... Oh, yeah. Maybe it tilted you, Lance. I don't know. You know what better? Thank you for the follow, Hierarchy Gaming. Hierarchy Gaming. I didn't realize you had pop-ups. So uh, that was actually question. my email. I do have, like, Twitch alerts, oh. but I don't know. Maybe I don't have to write one on. That works, though. Works for that works. Yeah. Works for <laughs> okay. Yes. And so, All so right. I was like, okay. Lance, I want you so bad, baby. Number 11. 11. Number, okay, number 10. Get now the real, PR. The, the real PR. PR. Welcome to the PR. <laughs> Echo! Echo! Oh! Yes! Good shit. Right. Everyone's excited about that. Um, I was wow. actually giving Cameron a pretty good breakdown on why Eminem's super fitting. Not only did he, was he totally down to be Eminem, he's, white. Um, <laughs> he's he's a cool white guy. But do you see how excited we were when he popped up? Everyone yeah. feels the same way about Eminem too. Eminem shows up <laughs> randomly on stage. Here's your third thing to look up. Look up Eminem Busta Rhymes B E T, and there's a live performance when he shows up. Everyone goes wild because yeah. everyone loves to see Echo. And it's cool to see him on the power rankings finally. But well, wasn't Eminem leaving that that trail of of cons of gay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was the best part of that movie. That was, it was the best super part of that movie. See, and I'm totally gay. <laughs> 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 no, but um, yeah, like everyone's super always super excited to see Echo and when he shows up, and which makes me incredibly jealous. Because I literally show up to everything, and this is why, why you're not, this is why you're Cameron, not special. You're this just, is why Cameron made the last tournament featuring Zeta, because I was complaining about everyone cheers for for like just, Echo and all these other expected. players. That's the thing. Yeah, I know, and so I was very happy that the last tier was featuring Zeta, and it made me feel special, it made me feel loved. Oh, wrong guys. way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, oh. But yeah, I, he's just such a cool I'm guy. To save your that's I, that's why everyone loves. That's why everyone cheers for him. Yeah. He's just so laid back and super nice. Well, it all it all started too when he was hosting the Smash Fest at his place. Oh yeah, I never so, par- I never partook in that. Oh yeah, so when yeah, yeah he was on like way back. Or, yeah, like 2014. I saw, I saw like 15. Big House. I think we watched Big House. Big House. That was, that, was, that was a really good tournament to watch. 
like with people too. Yeah, yeah. that was one with the Leffen lucky. Armada and the four stock Leffen. And the, oh. when Pluff started doing work, okay, when he beat Leffen, right? Yeah. And then yeah, uh, Tucker Echo he hosted his huge smash fest mm-hmm. at his house. Like everyone was there. Well, I hosted a Genesis viewing party. And no one showed up, so. And I had ten pizzas. One, two. It was three. <laughs> no, yeah, just three. The one I didn't go to, yeah. But yeah, I had I ate so much pizza. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, Good shit he's talker. doing he's yeah. doing pretty well. Like, um, let's talk about his wins, his three big wins. His three big uh, wins. Cody, then me, and then BDR. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that is crazy. Um, it, and it's funny too because of the tournament that he beat me, so I beat him in winners like two zero. And it's funny because I'm like I'm like, dude, you gotta stop doing those double lasers. So he stopped, stopped doing those lasers from Ledge and like. I would just take free stocks because he kept doing them. Uh, and then in losers, he beat Cody. And actually, the last time I'd watched him play, it went the same way. as like Tucker won, Cody counterpick final, and lost on final anyway. And that's the same thing that happened <laughs> again. Um, and it's funny because Cody's like, oh, you got the harder end of losers bracket. Because I had to play Jared, and Cody had to play Tucker. Uh-huh. And oh, I whooped uh, Jared that time. Yeah. So it's the best I've ever played against Jared. Usually me and Jared are really close. Yeah. That time it was not. Yeah. Um, and then... Cody lost to Echo, yeah. and then I had to play Echo in the next set. And the first game, after beating him twice already in winners, the first game, I gave him the ass-whooping of a lifetime. I forced yeah, him in a minute and a half. Oh. People didn't realize the game was over. And then he still rallied up and managed to play really well. It didn't affect his like combo game or his momentum or anything. Mm-hmm. And he ended up we ended up going to last game, and then he ended up beating me. Um so that was that was pretty big. And then they lost to BDR right after. Like pretty, it was like a decent set. I didn't really watch it. I had to like vent after I lost. But um, I, I apparently it was like a three zero like decent games. So I was like, okay, if he plays BDR again, he probably won't win. And then when JPEG happened, he played BDR and he crushed him. Yeah. One of the games yeah, he, he crushed just, yeah, him. He did really um, well. So that that's really cool that he's like not only been able to beat really good players, but been able to turn around on good players that have just beaten him mm-hmm. and still well, play well that's that's the space animal anthem you can get four stocks at any time and explain against yeah, almost anyone <laughs> and you can't let it affect you because it happens it happens to mango it happens to uh left in happens to everyone yeah. you get four stocked this past weekend i just foresaw kyle yeah. in the grand finals <laughs> oh game and one, i lost yeah. the set <laughs> no, yeah. so like four stocks and space animals matter, matches, really. they don't mean very much now matter. if you just brush you off. get Four stock and you're playing like Peach or something like that. That you know yeah. you should feel bad about that. Okay? <laughs> or you're playing like a Marth or something like that. You should feel bad, but not a Space Animal because you can literally get up thrown shine, up throw comboed and die. And you couldn't do anything. So, well, good happens. shit to talk to. Yeah. Good job, uh, Tucker. Uh, finally ranked. Uh, Chancey could have been higher because he lost to he lost to people that were on the verge. He lost to E40s and he lost to Blaze um, yeah, at the last tournament. tournament. Yeah. He had to go to the last tournament to get ranked though. Um, and then he just kind of like kind of underperformed in comparison definitely underperformed yeah. in comparison to the prior tournaments where he took out high ranking power ranked members mm-hmm. alright sometimes so you play hot on to number 10 number 9 9 9, nine? alright let's see who it is the mole the no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man I have failed Break everyone the bracket. Break the bracket. Break the bracket. Break the bracket. I'm gonna need <laughs> this man I'm gonna need this man Rig the bracket Rig the br- if I would have beat him Oh, he would not have been ranked. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The, the points were so close. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was honestly like nine, ten, eleven, <laughs> super close. Oh man, is this Lupe Fiasco? Uh, six seconds is the oh, okay, okay, rapper, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Mall. Oh man. Anyways, well, good games to him. Yeah, a, lo- a lot of this was carryover from last season. I feel like. Yeah. Um, I can't remember where his standings were. Last season, the, he this was season alone. higher. Seven well, no, no. I mean, I mean. In this three month period, I forgot where he landed. Oh, I. I, 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 I oh. So uh, we are using the last six months of data since the last time we reset. Yeah. So quarter four of last year so, and, and quarter one of. We're gonna use this throughout for the next updates as well. So rolling six months. Yeah. So it doesn't. So basically, the what was happening with the previous rankings was it was keeping uh, the history too strong. So. Mm-hmm. People weren't moving as much as they really should have, and it wasn't showing the results in the power ranking. So what we're doing now is LG were super consistent. What was it? Yeah. What was Mo last last eight? eight? 
Seven or eight? Eight. So you, I, you brought him down. Uh, you brought yeah. him down. Pulling <laughs> him down. I'm going to make him... And pulling yourself up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm hanging off Mole's... His coattails. Mole, take me with you to the top. Take me with you, Mole. No. But no, he's playing really well. He... I don't, yeah, he, he didn't he, have any big wins though this season. It's weird because at Genesis, if he kept playing like he did at Genesis, and that carried over into the rest of the season, I feel like he could have been like he probably would have passed Cody because Mole at Genesis was playing amazing mm-hmm. um, against Cool Kid. He had two really competitive games against Cool Kid, who's a Captain Falcon killer, um, and he went Falco, who's like Cole's worst matchup. That's basically all that's happened to Cole. He saw Falco and he died. That's, that's basically what happened to him all season. Um, but uh, at Genesis, he played amazing. In the cruise against Reno, he did amazing. But um, his season kind of faltered out. He he went the path of Psycho a little bit there. He started playing a lot of Overwatch and missed a lot of tournaments when he used to be really active. He wasn't. So. He's not even Grandmaster in Overwatch. He's not Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> well, but he's about- also ranked better than Psycho on RPR. That's so, but he, no, well, no, but the psychopath was he went second in melee to Grandmaster. Oh, that's so but if he doesn't play well this next three months, he's going to drop significantly because a lot of momentum came from his Arcadian, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Right. So he needs to step up his game if he wants to stay ranked. Or I'm going to pull <laughs> him out of the rankings. A thing, too, that uh, Cole's been dealing with is like having stuff outside of Smash. Oh. Yeah. to do like work yeah. yeah yeah you need that balance and like like a lot of players start to realize like we lost basically jpeg is inviolable by the way killer nuber same thing happened and he's like hey guys i got a job i'll see you at more tournaments we've seen him in one tournament every six months now <laughs> he actually worked at my girlfriend's in and out oh, for, really? for like three months That's That's i didn't hilarious. know he worked at that location yeah he works at whole foods now Okay. Slow yeah. pace makes yeah. sense. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, Cole just dealing with real life and dealing with uh, Overwatch. <laughs> but I think, and and you can tell in his play style too when he stopped practicing as much. Uh, he was being less campy this season, mm-hmm. and it was really affecting his wins. Mm-hmm. Essentially, his movement in general didn't it didn't have the power behind it that it that it did like in uh, January. Um, for what's worth, twelve uh, twelfth was. Mike Hayes um, for the Evan Award, and 11th was Super Hot Fire. Uh, <laughs> Mole is so, well, everyone thinks well, Captain I, Falcon's a, a non campy player, but he is. Like, Captain Falcon just dash dash yeah. camps. He uh, will camp you. And when, Mole, and when Mole does it right, it's actually really frustrating yeah, to deal with. And he's but that's really also good. why he has so much problem with Falco, because Falco can still shoot you. Yeah. Um, so it actually makes it harder for Falcon to do that. I have to say for this season for Mole, like I agree with you, Justin, but um, when he went to SSS, I think he played super well. Yeah, he played, like, uh, pretty recently uh-huh. too. Like, That's good. Uh, he huh. took out like a pretty good Samus. Maybe, I can't remember the name. Pretty good Samus. Like people were surprised about uh-huh. that, mm-hmm. but like maybe uh, Mole just like had more. Maybe he's kind of like wanting me. to play like better out of stage. Uh-huh. He doesn't yeah. care that yeah. much about locals. Yeah, maybe maybe he know. thrives better in that environment it's too. Yeah. Sword yeah. Sword he ended up on stream. Yeah. at SSS. He, he broke pools. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to right. number eight. Number eight. Number eight. I don't remember who. Oh, Hiri! Hey. I saw this coming. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he came to Monday's tournament just to make this. Just to rank. Just to make the rank. So Echo, you could blame him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, who is this? Who's this rapper? I don't know who's Nas. I Nas. I have yeah. no idea who rappers are, so. I, yeah. I, I wouldn't have recognized him, but I, like, I know his music. I didn't know what he looked like. Yeah. Actually, uh, he, of course, he never got back to me. I gave him, like, a two day leeway to, like, hey, dude, tell me a rapper if you ever see this message. Of course, he never got back to me. Mm-hmm. So basically, I literally Googled introverted rappers. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, he was apparently on the list, and Nas is a, a lyrical genius, and I felt like that kind of fit. I even listened to, like, 10 minutes of a Nas interview just to like to like hey, does this fit I'm like yeah, yeah it kind of fits Wait, so I don't listen to rap I am a pop punk to the to the soul <laughs> I don't know rappers I could sing every song on Yellow Card's first album word for word <laughs> but I wouldn't have to tell any rappers apart just how it is but I Purik. don't know rappers <laughs> alright alright but well, let's talk about Purik yeah uh, he's what, he didn't do anything spectacular this season. Yeah, it's so, just the consistency <laughs> consistency thing again, basically. So, uh, this season, last tournament, actually, he beat Lance, which I think that was pretty it's, good for him. Yeah, it's a pretty he, big deal. Yeah. I believe, like, historically, or at least the other time when they played Lance won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And that could have affected 8th, 9th, 10th. That's what I mean. That, that could have moved all that around if Lance had won that instead. Um, but Pyrrhic has been played with multi-main sickness. Multi-main, or multi-main disease. Disease, yeah. MMD, so he's got the I believe if I remember this correctly, he'll play Marth for everything, but he'll use Fox for Jigglypuff, Falco, and Sheik. Oh, does he go Fox against Edge? How much of the... He... Uh, <laughs> Last tournament, he had to play against Edge, and he went Fox and got destroyed. He four stocked. He got four stocked. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. Edge's worst character is Marth. So oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. I told him the same yeah. thing after. Yeah. The match. <laughs> and then uh, Pyrrhic did go Marth against Edge after the, the second match, and he did notice like this is a lot easier. A lot easier. <laughs> it's still Edge. It's still Edge. Right, yeah. Only Bread gets those crazy upsets. Oh my God, Bread! Um, if you wouldn't want to more and play Edge more, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just take him down. <laughs> Who is um, that? That guy that was like. Um... The pivot, pivot tipper, AJ. Uh, AJ, AJ, or the pivot tipper, AJ, 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 AJ,
Big C is just kind of that gatekeeper. It's just he's letting more and more people close to the gate. He's letting more, more, and more but, people. But is he the definitive the gate. gatekeeper right now? Like everyone below him is terrible. He's or, the or gatekeeper. Everyone, to... Honestly, he hardly guards the gate anymore. He's <laughs> okay. been demoted. He's, like, oh, he's yeah. been demoted. He's kind of just <laughs> passed out by the we, gate. We looked at actually camera time out. The point spread between seventh and sixth was significantly higher between seventh and than between seventh and tenth. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, no, like twelfth, I think. Oh yeah, you're so right. So six yeah. is the new gatekeeper, <laughs> and everyone yeah, below. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, basically what Cody's doing now is he's he's the head of the pack that's below. The, <laughs> okay, the, the six top. Vegas gods. <laughs> yeah, I think there's only one true god in Vegas, mm. and that's Calm Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get wrecked, Vegas! Get wrecked! We freaking suck! <laughs> Can't handle Luigi. Well, I just beat you with a Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start counting friendlies? Like, <laughs> yeah, of course. Dude. So, At least course, I do. The, uh, the last time Kyle played Calm Master, it was a really good set. Yeah, it was. Nice. It was a, it just Kyle mm -hmm. was stubborn as hell on Dreamland. It was 3-2-3-1. Uh, 3-2 three, two, three, one. Three, two Kyle's favor, 3-1 Calm Master's favor in Grand Finals the last time we played. It was a, it was a really competitive set. And But again, like a, another player just playing consistently. Right. Staying not there, not staying dropping too spot. much, and he had a pretty good December. He had a pretty decent uh, like quarter four last year, mm -hmm. so just kind of this season he was pretty active just, just kind of coasting not active this past month because of personal yeah. yeah stuff but be good to see him back soon uh huh okay right. number thanks six thanks for joining us Arcana Bust Sword Saints <laughs> Bust the Rhyme Bust, Bust the Rhyme <laughs> alright do you want to say anything about your um, positioning your placing for, for what it's worth if uh if we had only used this season I definitely was higher Yes, uh, I agree. I was, with that. I was I was definitely higher, and I, like I feel like I outperformed uh, one of the players above me um, throughout the entirety of the season. Yeah, I agree uh, with but that. I mean, I, we we literally looked at the score between three months and six months, and I was actually higher. But um, that's that's the way it goes. So I'm just yeah. sixth place. I had a really good season, though. I the only person I didn't season. beat, I think, all the season was Kyle. I might not have been able to beat BDR. Um, but I beat Chard a lot. I spent the entirety of oh, January yeah. beating Chard. Yeah. I just beat Chard left and right. <laughs> uh, and then uh, this month, actually, Chard had started coming back on me and beating me like two or three sets in a row. And then I beat him back one set in winners. And then he beat me back in losers. Uh, and then doubled up. Oh, so that, that was I was talking about how people kept doubling back in mm -hmm. grand finals. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I beat Chard in winners finals and then Chard doubled back on me in, in grand finals. And that's what Kyle keeps doing to Bacon. Uh, and to BDR, that's what Bacon's done to BDR. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, yeah. <laughs> and Chard has done that to a few people as well. No, um, no, I would agree. So, You've been doing really well this season, uh, especially yeah. to the later half. You've been playing really, really consistently well, top two or three in every tournament. So I feel like if it was just the last couple months, then you'd be a lot higher than, or yeah. at least a couple spots higher. Yeah, it definitely would be. You're not six zero against me, Chard. We're like we're like six six this season. I don't know if you have the numbers, I don't know. but I, I think I think we're like six six or something. I mean, We've played a lot. And this I think season. you're. I think we're like tied ahead this season as well. So me and you, yeah. I think I so. Think we so. might be two two. Oh yeah, I think, I we're, I think yeah, we're. Yeah, you're, two -two. you did like amazingly well this season. You had like that one amazing. Was it a JPEG run, right? Uh or yeah. It, yeah. Last JPEG. Uh, oh well, yeah, I beat you beat Dan. <laughs> uh, I beat I beat Dan. I, that's what I hate when uh when out of staters use their alternates in like unimportant matches and then go serious in like more important matches because it screws up our PR like Eichelman fucked me in January because he went Bowser and winners and BDR beat him and then he went Ganon and losers like oh fuck do out of staters <laughs> affect the, uh, the to a certain a degree yeah. to a certain degree but, but most of the time like by the time like, at, like they're playing the pools matches so it, the system should account that hey this is mm -hmm. a good player mm -hmm. um but it was funny because uh, Calm Master lost to Dan in pools, and then I beat Dan in pools. And then later in the tournament, I beat Dan again. So I beat Dan twice, and Dan beat a lot of other people, including Chard. Uh, and I beat uh, JPEG that tournament. I beat Bacon that tournament. So that was a lot of really strong players. Um, I, had a, I had a good season. Uh, I wish I was ranked higher in accordance, but that's not how it worked out. So. But you uh, are close with like the. I'm very people. close You're, with you are the super next. Close to the, the people next. above you. Um, Which... Yeah, and there's a huge gap between me and Cody. 
So that's that's kind yeah, of the difference. So you're like you're the gatekeeper right now. I guess, but I'm, I've only ever let Echo in because I like Eminem. So. <laughs> so Echo was your worst loss this season. Yeah, he was my only like lower than me loss this entire well, season. I was close sure. though. I was so close on final. We were going back and forth. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. Game one was kind of close. Game three wasn't close. I was playing really bad by then. <laughs> oh, okay. So when I SD'd on game <laughs> yeah. two, that wasn't me playing bad. I forced that. She was on me. Yeah. <laughs> crush your, crush your spirit. Okay, crush your third stock okay, spirit. That's how it works. No, <laughs> so yes, um, uh, Sword could have been higher, but once we see the top five, two, and we'll tell you about the points, too. Like It's pretty funny. It's, uh, it's crazy that uh, it's so close. Yeah. Before you hit the next slide... I want everyone to answer this question. What number comes before six? Five. 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 Okay. Five. Let, let's see. Let's see the next slide. Let's All right. Next, next slide. slide. Four. Four. Edge gets fourth. Huh. Huh. <laughs> what is this? There's a there's a missing gap there. That's kind of interesting. This is we... fucking funny, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> or the weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Edge say this? Oh, uh, yes, he actually oh got that speed. Oh, uh, I was oh. getting ready to make him fat, Joe. And, because uh, it was like Jimmy Evan, Butler, uh, like this it. season, the UNLV tournament didn't count because it was a <laughs> weird tournament announced last minute-ish and higher price point to enter. So we didn't really include it. That was right. our reasoning, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I probably would not have gone if it was like a power rank tournament, to be completely honest. But, <laughs> but yeah, Edge, to Krevin. Edge uh, who actually had a lot uh, a lot of points because of quarter four of last year where he had an epic run like in JPEG beating Kyle well, like twice and all this that stuff. season he like he beat Kyle at least one time right 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 and right. he beat me like I think every mm. time I play I, I'm pretty sure I'm negative against Edge so he's been killing Falco. Falco. He's BDR, been killing Falco. Like, he's been BDR. losing to me in BDR I think BDR he's been me laying twice it down on yeah, like three oh or four times God. he got 30 by BDR a couple times mm -hmm. Yeah, the last time they played Beater, I kind of rocked him. It was 3-1? Oh, when, right. when was the last time uh, Edge played Chart besides Dream League? Uh, they played, um, well, uh, besides Dream League. Uh, uh, it's JPEG? I feel like they JPEG. did play JPEG. Last I think JPEG they played Chart came mm -hmm. out ahead. Wait, Char Chart almost always does this mean Edge. that they're yeah. exactly tied for points? <laughs> <laughs> hey, exactly. Exactly, exactly tied. Exactly, exactly tied. Exactly, exactly tied. That's nutty. In yeah. the pa in the past, we have counted like a fifty differential as a basically a tie. The this player and the other player is exactly. Oh, points. I figured out the riddle, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. So so to to back to sword real quick. Is sword was still close to these two. The, the tie for fourth so yeah if we were more leniency like edge the other guy and me are basically tied for fourth yeah. if we were more lenient basically. but mm. but yeah so, so <laughs> six so six this uh season can also be fourth <laughs> in a sense because how close they were in points um, yeah that's the five <laughs> to decide that you guys should have yeah battled it out tonight <laughs> But yeah, Edge, but I'm gonna tell you, it's not a gate. I'm not keeping a gate. I'm keeping a wall. There's no wall. one coming in. Well, it's There's all no, it's all three of you guys. No one. You guys, you guys in. are yeah. yeah. <laughs> back to a wall. Oh. Hi, Q. That team. The wall. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Dude. I can't remember the team. I'm also really bad. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so I did talk to Edge last tournament, Rip, about like how he's feeling about playing because mm -hmm. he seems kind of like down when he's playing like most recently. Mm -hmm. And Especially he was just saying like PDR, he doesn't have like man. the like the drive to get mm -hmm. like really play anymore and. I think he's like also looking for like or he got other personal reason or personal yeah. life stuff to take care of but yeah it doesn't look like he's that much into the game as much mm -hmm. well he's I feel like he showed up to a lot of stuff this season though he did he had a pretty good yeah he did have a pretty good attendance yeah. which but I feel like he didn't he before. just said he was not, like not having as much fun anymore yeah with well because he's losing <laughs> oh, I, didn't have, he I, didn't asked, have... I asked the same question Are you having fun when you're winning? He's like, no <laughs> That's because he's playing Jigglypuff <laughs> <laughs> uh, But I think, I think I hope he doesn't, you know Drop off because I think he's a good staple well, We need a Jigglypuff mm -hmm. We need we need you, Edge yeah, yeah. We need you uh, I was like lightweight arguing with MMX Who's probably still in the chat about like Look, you, look, you have to understand that like he's, he's not breaking any rules The way he's playing so you have to either adapt to play him to beat him 
or you can't bitch about it. Like, he, like, because uh, he's yeah. not breaking any rules. Yeah, that's just how the game works. And Edge doesn't play that lame. Mm-mm. He no, plays. Yeah, he, he, can he, play. he goes in. Yeah, he's he's not that campy. It's just puff, and he can kill you off of like one conversion if you're not careful. Well, yeah, he'll he'll like space back airs maybe two three times in a row, and then he'll go in. Mm-hmm. Like he won't. Not in game. Like, okay, like everyone, if you've ever had to play against the puff, if you've just ever seen me. one good puff, and that's <laughs> edge. no more puffs than that. I'm putting down the law. <laughs> if you've ever seen Dudu Sai play, did you? Ha- was it you oh, that had to play Dudu Sai? I had played Dudu Sai. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, if you've ever seen a puff that plays like that, you'd be like, oh, thank God, it's Edge that lives here. <laughs> you'd be like, thank God, it's Edge that lives here because there's so much worse, uh, puffs? worse puffs that yeah. you have to that you could deal with. Okay, on to um, the oh, next, there are four. The next number <laughs> exactly <laughs> tied. <laughs> is it three that comes after this? Yeah, three. Dude, I, that I, I gave up on the numerical. Oh, DDR, oh. great. <laughs> <laughs> I know who that is. <laughs> I feel like this doesn't fit at all, but whatever. That's so crazy he, that's that they're tied. Asked, so I tried to get the most gay picture yeah. of Drake as possible. <laughs> I could have lo- looked for like a thug picture yeah. of Drake, but I'm like, no, if BDR who actually looks tough and. Everything's gonna request Drake. I'm gonna give him the the fruity Drake. He's gonna get the can, most Canadian Drake that I could find. So that, that's funny thing doing. about Drake is his real name is Aubrey. His name's Aubrey. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but BDR obviously a good player in the scene, and uh, he did he did pretty well. I think so, he did amazing. So did he like drag yeah, this season was really edges good. points down, or did he? Because because he there, was there was there a bigger no, gap no, the, between them before? Edge was ahead of him last season. Yeah. Okay. So BDR, well BDR told me at the last rep, he's like, I only cared about beating Edge that tournament. And last they're exactly so tied. He's the only one that he actually beat them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so basically, and it's been the theme too that BDR has been beating the crap out of Edge recently. Yeah. So that's that's helped out BDR but, a lot. Mm-hmm. But. Edge has like the factor of he's been able to beat me more consistently. Yeah, yeah. beating mm-hmm. maybe not. Kyle. I think they were about the same beating Kyle. Yeah, that's that's the big thing for BDR this season. He's been one of the most consistent Kyle killers. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. He almost always then loses to Kyle later in the same <laughs> tournament. But like taking the set from Kyle at all is a pretty huge testament of uh, skill. Yeah, um, and that's been a pretty well, consistent thing. It's like yeah. it used to be like okay, BDR is playing Bacon or Kyle. So we expect BDR and losers bracket next because BDR always lost, especially <laughs> to Bacon. Like Bacon was BDR's kryptonite. No matter how good he was playing, Bacon would shut him down. Yeah, but this season he actually. But this season, you guys are. I think he's three one on you or three two on you. You beat him last tournament. Yeah. So it might, might be, be tie or he might be ahead. I can't. Remember. Yeah, because he had, he had a string where he was doing really well against you. Um. Yeah, I think him and Edge beat. How many times did Edge beat SK? Oh yeah, Edge beat JPEG. Thank you. That was a good one. Oh, I did not. I did not know that. that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Edge, oh yeah. JPEG I'm got really rally. sad because the last three tournaments he entered, he got fifth. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that's probably maybe why he didn't show up to the last rip to get right. <laughs> uh, yeah. But BDR BDR played really well this season, mm-hmm. and um, I'm almost I'm ex- I think if your last tournament wasn't so good. It really would have affected, mm-hmm. like Most top likely. top three, top four, yeah. yeah. And and if we did the three month instead of six, months, that's true too. It would have yeah, absolutely. So like, yeah, tied for fourth. But uh, next season, look for BDR being top three. Top three mm-hmm. Yeah, if he keeps it up, he keeps it up. Yeah. And him and him and Charge have had really competitive sets again because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they they used to be like one of the best rivalries. And then Charge started whooping his ass every time. And then BDR actually started beating Charge a lot more. And Charge said like. Um, BDR is really hard to play against when he's playing good. Yeah, um, that's the thing though. As playing a fox, like an aggressive fox, it's hard to consistently yeah. play when, good. When you run out of steam or good off course, it's really it, and then you, as, you crash. And that's why maybe he hasn't beaten Kyle as much because playing defensively, it's very easy to stay consistent. Yeah, especially over time. Defensive wall. So I beat so him in winners, double and sets, and losers. Yeah. yeah, double sets are really hard mm-hmm. if you're an uh, aggressive technical fox, mm-hmm. which BDR kind of is. So like uh, BDR changes like his play style against me instead of always like you know running on the ground against me where he you know falco just get up or up till whatever shine mm-hmm. he actually plays like more of a bit of your style but he actually mixes it up so like i don't know how, what angle he's gonna come uh-huh. at me so i think that was like really benefit him a, a lot like if you want to get into his game mm-hmm. and of course like you guys said beating edge basically every time this turn mm-hmm. of the season uh though i think the last two or three times he's played chard chard's gotten him again yeah um, I, think Char, I think Char doubled him coming back on a 
some week. I think I took. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that was the one where you hit the the table. Yeah, you hit the yeah. table. So, yeah, it's the I, roids. I, I, I'm actually super satisfied when BDR rages because he gets way too excited when his opponent SDs. So I'm super happy when he get when BDR gets salty. <laughs> That's like the fuck you right back then. <laughs> yeah, BDR is definitely a momentum type player. Mm-hmm. Like he rides on momentum, but if you like shut it down, he like it's it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. So, so now we're going to go back three. to normal numbers again. Top three. Number three. Or is one. it one? All ones? <laughs> like, all tied? <laughs> three tied for one? All right. <laughs> the <Beat> Bacon! <laughs> wow! I thought Bacon was coming second. Yeah, I, I think actually he was second in the three month span. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, G Dragon, correct? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason I picked him because I like the name. I've never heard any of never, the songs. <laughs> never heard of but it's G Dragon. G Dragon. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about third? Um, that is actually a lot higher than I thought this season. Cause, really? Because like, that last tournament helped you a lot, man. Um, because like mid season, I was kind of like just getting F'd by everyone. Basically, <laughs> everyone that was like ranked six through th- four, basically, like they were just all beating me. It's like. Mm-hmm. And it sucks. <laughs> I expected to be above you and Edge this season, and then you beat Kyle and BDR in that last time. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take a like, K-pop fan. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you, yeah, so you you did pretty well at the start of the right, season. Right, I did, did well. Then in I, the mid-season, Sword had his up. Coming, yeah, and everyone, BDR was doing well. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your worst loss this season, though? It was actually Evan. It was the first time beating me. Like, oh I think, like, shit! Yeah, like, I, I don't think anyone looked in the bracket at seat or and like slash no one knows Evan is memory, uh-huh. so oh, no yeah. one really like. Talk, put yeah, it together about it. yeah so it's like okay cool no one talked you know, about it he, did, <laughs> he didn't even brag about it that much either because he Discord. realized I, like I don't know I was playing bad bad yeah he said that too. but I mean people play bad yeah, they play, play bad yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was really sad it was the one tournament where it was Con Master DMW that was there yeah uh, like if I would have won against Admin I would have had my rematch against DMW uh, we're like one on one right now mm-hmm. So Congratulations is the Con Master game <laughs> so second is Kyle and first is Con Master clearly <laughs> I but, think um, we're missing. Okay. <laughs> it was then you started getting your runs at Rip again. You were right. in the grand, grand finals every single time or winning until you know, no. Kyle showed up again. Yeah, that was in the beginning. Yeah. In the beginning. And then in the mid season, I was just doing poorly. And then I was honestly just the last ter- two tournaments I went to that I did really well, but only one of the tournaments count. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever. If you guys didn't see the UNLV tournament, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't see the UNLV tournament, you can't see the UNLV that, that tournament. Is, is it? Oh, it yeah. did not get streamed. No, no, no. But right. you would have liked the top four. Falco, 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 Falco. It was Falco, Falco, yeah, Falco, Falco. But the two Falcos on top is Vegas Falcons. Nice. Yeah. yeah DP, <laughs> JPEG lost to both DP and oh, Um It's all right. We got. I got revenge for him. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, um. Falco, I want to. I want to say the reason for my. Uh, I guess playing well for the last two tournament is I actually practiced <laughs> the Friday be- or yeah the Friday before the UNLV tournament yeah. I practiced and that carried on to Monday mm-hmm. <laughs> so, alright before that midseason I was just playing you know Breath of the Wild yeah the <laughs> oh too. well yeah the Switch <laughs> The poems was you. right after Breath of the Wild came uh, out. I was honestly thinking just skipping poems just yeah. to play more Breath of the Wild, but mm-hmm. I went and got rocked by Evan. Screw you, Straw. <laughs> yeah, Straw. Yeah, uh, you should have came. For those of you that are like uh, contemplating about Con Master, he's disqualified from the rankings. One of the stipulations is you have to be a resident that you're not ranked in another region. Obviously, Con Master is ranked number one in Northern Utah, so Con Master isn't on the PR. Noru. <laughs> he is, Noru. He's clearly the honorable mention because he hasn't lost a tournament in vegas in like the last year almost i think kyle's only beaten him once in vegas in like i feel like the last time he last won summer. was like at psg the old psg i think so too yeah yeah um so obviously con master would be ranked number one here too but he's just not on the power ranking well good job bacon thank you bacon number uh, three i old second school vegas yeah Middle oh we were, we were talking about this yeah, the last we're... tournament I think I am now a great, the great grandfather of Vegas Smash. Me and Bacon are grandfathers. Yeah, I think, I think we call you the ancient one. The, oh, they call me the, the ancient, ancient one. one. The ancient <laughs> ones. So it was, it was my generation. 
And then it was you guys. Me, Bacon, <laughs> Tra. JPEG. JPEG. JPEG came a little after us. And though. then, JPEG after and then the Doc Kids. I called them the Doc Kids next. And now it's all the net players. Uh, the, <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a gap between there's like the psycho era, the dark ages. Yeah. The psycho jive. That, yeah, that was that was uh, late JPEG era, like yeah. mm -hmm. right after JPEG comes in. Well, JPEG's by himself, in. just grouping with us. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just like the tail end yeah. of us, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, but then yeah, there's like the uh, that Ar Gemini arcade era with Edge. psycho. Edge came in. There. Edge. Um, yeah. Old PSG and then new PSG. <laughs> so yeah, we can kind of like break. The history of Vegas, yeah, almost yeah. by venue, yeah. Yeah. All right, on to number two. Number two. two. Char. <laughs> 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 Who is this? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sheep place. Oh yeah, Nando's a grandfather. Definitely, he's a, he's a <laughs> frog era. Focus my eyes on a sheep. <laughs> that just works out really nice. I wasn't intended when I downloaded that picture. I'm like. Hey, if I make her the same size as the rest of everyone, the cleavage fits chic, right? There. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. Um, Chard's good. Yeah. Chard's so good, man. Chard. Chard's so good. I'm going to text JPEG right now what I think of how good Chard is. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, uh, he pretty much beat me all season. <laughs> <laughs> he beat most people. I, think I was so close to beating Chard, and then Sabu walked in front of me. Oh my god. He was a stock away from I was a stock Char. away from winning. And then like just shook his chair. It was one hit away. Chard <laughs> was scared. <laughs> no, it was one one. And I was comboing. Yeah, him. that was actually a really close set. I remember. I was so I, mad. Yeah. You were commentating. I was so mad. This was the season of interruptions. <laughs> I, but, I was uh, a meme. This season, I think well we'll see later. Uh Chard won two tournaments and then he was the highest placer at uh, cat hands. At cat hands, yep. Uh, which he beat had call master. Kyle there. He beat Kyle there. Yeah. He, beat Kyle he there. was the highest placing in singles in cat hands, and he won every other event. Yeah. Doubles. He won doubles teams. With him? he, well, Kyle, I think. Oh, okay. No, um, yeah. and then he won um, PMC. Project M singles, Project M teams. Yeah. So I don't know how much money was in it, but he definitely. Uh, cashed out there. <laughs> and I definitely want to see Chard go out of state. And I asked him I know. About that's, that. that's the one. That's we the all dream. Really want to. Yeah, we he all. wants to. Yeah, he wants to too. It's just he can't. It's not he's got, he's got the strict he's got family and he's a good kid. Family, yeah. that's, that's the thing I had to argue with Cody. He's got a strict family. He's also a good kid. See, Cody, he said, oh, I had a strict family too. I'm like, yeah, you're a fucking bad kid. <laughs> he admitted to it. He's Literally, like, yeah. we he's would like, yeah, show up to Cody's house before he was supposed to go to school and, and just take him, to, him. <laughs> take him to a California <laughs> tournament instead of him going to school. Him. That's fucking funny. <laughs> And if you high schoolers want to go out of state, hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, the degenerates, the old school degenerates. We had, we found a way to get people to. <laughs> Cody, you want to ditch school? We're going to California. All right. But um, good times. It, okay. It, it, this season looked like Chard was going to start taking a lot of sets from Kyle, and then Kyle made some good adjustments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said Mewtwo King made him a sheet killer, basically. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna oh, tell you... Genesis, since he, Genesis, I don't I'm think gonna, he's lost two char... I think he might have lost a char once since I'm then. gonna reveal Kyle's strategy. Okay. Laser dash attack. That's all his strategy is against sheep. And sheep. And That's it. it. I feel like I'm so, like I feel like if I do that, she or Char will just be further back and just grab me. <laughs> well, well like, dude, if you wait, if you hit their shield with the laser and then you dash attack him. Uh, and you get to the other side of her, her jump neutral air does almost no knockback. So you so can crowd still... cancel it and then to stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. So there we go. So that's how you're going to... There's the, the secret is out. Kyle told me that and I kind of spilled the beans to make All everyone right. better. <laughs> Thank so, you, Gus. I'm so going to use this on you, <laughs> So like laser dash attack is actually super strong against she because she can't... Mm -hmm. If you go through her... But she could jump bury you, and then she's like above you, and you can up tilt or something like that. So, yeah. well, she could just you know not do anything. Well, then, then, then you still then you're in neutral again. Okay, all right. Then it's a, <laughs> then you're back to neutral. Well, and that's so. the thing with SK is neutral is the key. Yeah. And like I've commentated his sets against Kyle, and it's just like it's a pure zone zoning game, and Chard was having really really hard time about that for mm -hmm. like three or four sets in a mm -hmm. row. I think he's gotten a lot better better at it now and but. if you get the dash attack it leads into so much up tilt and then a full combo she's a fun character to combo man. yeah so <laughs> I suppose, falco can combo sheik so yeah. if you got platforms especially yeah so i feel like i want to disagree with it but yeah sheik is combo material ish 
After after the fast followers, who's the next most fun character to combo to you? Yeah, Marth. 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 <laughs> Marth more yeah. than she? No, I'm just disagreeing. You just to disagree. No, I, I love comboing Marth. As a Falcon, it's Marth for sure. Yeah. Well. Oh uh, yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm asking. Yeah. Well, I don't think you're necessarily in a bad position if you dash attack through a sheet because then you still have Baron up tilt. So, uh, to reply to, to to Evan right there, because Falco's bear is you can just space after that. So you're not really in a terrible position after that dash attack. So, all right. Um, and so to... before that, any bad, any really bad losses Char took this season? Just I, got, I, yeah. Oh, no, I just looked his ass all season. Man, so he, that's all. <laughs> that's just the start of it and the end of it. There was probably a pool loss somewhere. I know I the remember. Butters loss was last season. That was last season. season. Was Whoa, last season. he lost the Butters? He, yeah. Butters oh, he <laughs> lost to Pyrrhic. He lost Pyrrhic. Pwn's 27. Pyrrhic Sox? Was that January? Or? Yeah, January. Oh, okay. Oh. So there was like a three-way tie between Pyrrhic, Douglas, and Chard oh. in um, that pool. Oh. And then but, Chard probably took like second at that tournament anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. But Kyle did. No, Eckelman did. Yeah, oh, that, that was that right. tournament. <laughs> a bunch oh, of outer staters yeah, yeah, fucked up the entirety of the bracket. <laughs> I think that I think that was the. Worst oh, loss he did he lose had. to Logos, which I was a little surprised about that. Yeah, Logos, but, Logos, but, yeah. Logos has. I mean, it's cheek. It's cheek Falco. Fan. It's one of those things. Yeah, I, I just respect Shards matchup against Falco a lot. Mm. So I was surprised about it. Oh, he did not lose to Eric. <laughs> and did not lose to Eric. So you're crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, no whoever, bad losses. If you season. if you remember anyone that you've lost to, that's a. Uh, I might have to go back and Ramster or Sparrow. Back and change results because that's how it was in the round robin in Pones twenty seven. So Pyrrhic might be lower. So Pyrrhic might be lower, and Chard might be number one. Huh? Oh hierarchy. <laughs> no, <laughs> hierarchy CC one. Okay. Okay. I feel like I knew that and forgot. Yeah. I All right. Number one, number one for this one. season. Dan's the man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's SK92. SK92. Waka, Once again. Is this Waka Waka? Waka. Yeah. Waka Waka. Waka. With the dreads? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to find like the coolest picture of him. And I was like, okay, this fits Kyle. <laughs> one of my Kyle favorite things that Kyle me. used to do, but he doesn't do it anymore, is power up mid-set. Where like he starts shaking his dreads or whatever, and he starts getting hyped oh, up. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. remember that, the old SK? I well, did you see him play against Matt Dodds? I was gonna say mm -hmm. that. Oh, you didn't. He I actually... saw the I saw the match, but I didn't see him like. Get oh him. yeah, uh, last stock when Kyle was respawning on last stock, he actually stood up. Oh, then, here we go. And then Matt Dodds got up too, and then Matt Dodds lost. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty, that was pretty fun. So Kyle powered up way. Actually. Went full Super Saiyan 2 instead of the, the buff Super Saiyan 2. Yeah, I thought that was just stupid. He was doing that, but he wasn't invincible. He was already <laughs> on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Kyle, as soon as Battle Z stood up, Kyle sat down. I was like, all right, force match. <laughs> it was a mind game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Kyle, amazing. Yeah, uh, he, he Amazing season. Like like I said earlier, Chard looked like Chard had SK's number at the beginning of the season. Was I? Like, I could have been. I don't... SK picked it up once he went to Genesis and got his ass kicked and by And the chic and tie. And the, yeah, and then uh, that, uh, from M2K. M2K Tom stuff. Yeah. I, I really don't remember if I was commentating that or not. I have a bad memory for some <laughs> things like that. So <laughs> I remember facts really well. That's why I got through school. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, but I believe BDR was giving Kyle trouble. Yeah, like, BDR was the, was the one that beat him the most this season. Like last season, it was like Chard and Edge. And so BDR had that, the most. It seemed like W's? BDR had the. Wait, how many? I don't know, you two, three? I know. I, 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 I feel like I mean, I, it's probably two or three times. Oh, yeah, three I times. I would say Kyle, Kyle twice the season. That's true. Well, and then one of them was just now too, <laughs> which is still like I'm still putting it into the memory banks. Of the <laughs> right. um, right. Oh but yeah, yeah it, it actually might be you. Um, that's, that's the thing is like everyone that beats Kyle keeps losing to him afterwards. It sucks. Well, uh, yeah, we were saying the defensive play is yeah, easy to maintain. Yeah. He did well in SSS, top 8. I oh yeah, that was really amazing. Top eight well, with, with some shady season, or seeding. Who, what, what happened to the He seeding? was seeded into West Wall's pool. West Wall oh, didn't show up. Oh. So he had first seed, or winners out, mm -hmm. first seed. He still played really well. That True. Who did he beat? He beat Kira again. He beat Kira. Yeah. He um, lost to He lost to Face, face, face Roll. But he played really good against Face Roll. He Even actually, though he lost to Face Roll. He made like two critical mistakes against Face Roll. If he didn't make those, he would have definitely have won. Yeah, I mean... Rowing. It was, it, was, it, it was like, he dropped an easy combo, I know for sure. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. But yeah, I think their set was 3-1, him and face roll. But it was probably, maybe, it might have been the best I've ever seen Kyle play. Um, Captain Face Roll is really fucking good. Mm -hmm. Captain Face Roll had just finished, 
beating the hell out of PPU too. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. he, yeah, he destroyed PPU. Um, and then SK92 had a much, much better set against Captain Pace Roll. Um, and it was actually, I was like really impressed. I, I figured it would just be destruction, but Kyle played really, really yeah. well. I was like, oh, Kyle. Well, that's the chic, the chic technology he has, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and this is kind of crazy, <laughs> Yeah, too, if you're not super killed at the end of a tournament, TC, we should go out. Five months ago, we didn't know if Kyle was coming back. Yeah. He was, he was retired. <laughs> and then all of a sudden last season he started showing up again. Uh, yeah, actually I did talk to Kyle about this on our uh, ride to SSS. He was saying um, when he retired, it was basically uh, he was he had a job that requires him to work Saturdays and he can't keep calling off Saturdays. Right. Yeah. So he, okay. he has yeah. a new job now where he could. Oh, sorry. Hey, that's he's self-employed. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Self-employed. That's good. Um, I want to say Kyle, like he does super well. Obviously, this this uh, locally, but. I think in order for him to get to the next level, he actually does have to grind out some of the tech skill. I guess basic tech skills of 2017 now, mm-hmm. especially uh, ledge dashing when he's on yeah the ledge. Did like he have his ledge option is so limited yeah. that when he plays out of state, it's like if they know how to cover one, like those three options of his. Yeah. Every time Kyle's That's on the right. ledge, he's pretty much dead. Well, we saw the set against Sfat. Yeah. Or Sfat just. That. Oh, okay. the Genesis set. Oh, uh, yeah. Kyle said he was pretty nervous in that set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was on the main stage. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it was good on him to right away. You saw on stream on the video, he talked to. Yeah, they're actually Zach, talking. Zach, talking right away, like, like he does the same thing with Cloud Master too. When there's a when there's a player that really challenges him, he actually he mm-hmm. like he'll actually talk about okay, like let's think about how I can be better. Mm-hmm. And um, then. And That's really respectable. Kyle has said recently in the past too that he wants to show uh, more results at out of state tournaments. All right. He's not really too worried about Vegas stuff because I mean he's just been whopping Vegas for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I do think yeah if he, if he uh, starts getting good with the basic 2017 tech and starts traveling more, yeah. He can make, if he starts going like every SSS, he every can make SSS top 100 SSS. for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. And now, yeah, yeah. What do we do now? Uh, we got to see the full picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm not even uh, uh, disclaimer. Like I'm not even 100 percent happy with this one. I it's basically the last one just redone. Uh, uh, I see it's this picture. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, That's pretty cool, though. It's. I mean, it still looks pretty cool. But uh, when I finished, I'm like, man, there's a lot of things that could be better on it. It's but kind of hard to read the font. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, it's also it has to be Facebook sized. Um, but yeah, I didn't. Well, no, I'm not yeah. happy with the top font at all. But well, yeah, I was, was saying color-wise, it's yeah, the same. It's like 2 a.m. and I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> um, I, I definitely know that this one could be better, but I was just really tired of, <laughs> of working on yeah. it. <laughs> well, I guess the players can't be choosers. Yeah, the player names and everything came out okay. Though. All right, so this is our top 10 for yeah, Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Quarter. quarter one, 2017. It's, it's so cool seeing Echo on there. Yeah. It's, it's been a long time. It's <laughs> a long time coming. Yeah. Um, don't we have two more players to Any... announce? Oh, I don't think we have pictures something. for them. Though. I didn't. I didn't make a oh, picture okay. for them. So for the first honorable mention, it is your favorite. Well, maybe basically your everyone's favorite, favorite player, your favorite the mascot, mascot of Vegas, <laughs> JPEG Image. I should have. He was shit. did not have enough activity mm-hmm. to be ranked. On this scale, I think he was above me too. Which kind of pissed me off. I definitely <laughs> did better than him this season and showed up to way more. Yeah. Um, well, but he had a really good early uh, quarter four last year, and that's again I was like, freaking hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I can't remember where he was placed. If we so used that, uh, I can't remember. But I just know that all the tournaments he went to this season, he got fit. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Uh, except for the one he beat Chart in finals. Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. So he got first people. Okay, uh, but so. again, that one, like, the only one he beat was Chard. Um, yeah. I, I don't think there was any other killers in that tournament. Um, I feel like there was, and I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. JBEG's still really, really good. He'll definitely be ranked next season, so... If he plays. He's gonna play. I'm gonna make him play. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone, you know, in the, uh, you know, ranks 8, 9, 10? I don't mean, next uh, season there could be a lot of shake-up, like... That could, all that could really change, oh, yeah. except for maybe Kyle. I feel like everyone can really move around a lot. I mean, the so point is, I'm just gonna be Kyle all the, the time. There's even points. a chance of Kyle being dethroned too, because um, second, third, 
Do we have the point spread? Both placers have all taken sets from... No, he's definitely still clearly first. Yeah, uh-huh. But I'm just talking about like the, the trend of people beating him oh, yeah, is this, increasing every single season. Yeah, this season's like the most Kyle's not mm-hmm. ever Is there, is there a yeah. total season, Kyle a lot wins versus too. total Kyle losses? Uh, we have tournament wins. Oh. Yeah. But uh, we, we could look that up later. But we have, we have the data is in the system. It's just we don't have it for this. But yeah, it's like it used to be only like JPEG. JPEG. Like the only one that would do it. And then JPEG <laughs> stopped doing it, and then Trial started doing it, and Psycho did it every now and then. <laughs> but now, yeah, this is like the first season where a lot of people, new are people, are trying to do it yeah. at the same time. Mm-hmm. Sword, you got to do it too. Yeah, I know. I had two <laughs> chances, but I just couldn't do it at, at JPEG. Right. I, I, I think that was the only time I played him this season was at the last JPEG. Okay. Um, do you want to show your stats? Well, and then the other honorable mention. Oh right, I forgot. There's is uh, everybody's favorite? You Italian? Every you Utop- every player. Utop- your favorite Utop- human being. Utopian. Utop- Utop- Utopian. <laughs> uh, Calm master. Calm master. Calm master. Ammon style. Well, he's Ammon. like five hundred points above Kyle or something like that. Know. Is he I really? Mean, he's he's pretty up there on number one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe just, I should play Luigi. And he he just come. Well, he did it with. Uh, Falcon. Falcon at the last bone, so I don't know. Yeah, Cobbaster has won every Vegas mainly singles tournament he's entered. For a while. Unfortunately, we will not be seeing Cobbaster. Yeah, he went back to Washington. He went back to Washington. Apparently, it's only for the summer, so it wasn't as goodbye as I thought. Or, like, no one told me this. It's like... Utah Jones is like, hey, Kyle Master wants to come to Vegas. It'll be his last term. It's like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I guess I didn't ask for how long he'll be away. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Kyle Master, amazing. Like, I think everyone in Vegas has, like, a much better understanding of the Luigi matchup. Maybe not a winning understanding of it, mm-hmm. but a better under- mm-hmm. understanding. Uh, it definitely did help me out to save against other Luigis. <laughs> yeah, it was that- a more common matchup now, I think. Mm-hmm. Who, uh, how many other Luigi's do we have? Out of state? Uh, out of I state mean, like, you have, like, the outer state, like, you know... The Next year there was a reals. ton of Luigi's of Genesis. It was kind of yeah. gross. Even Com- Master said Com- it was because he lost to Boulevard, yeah. who's a Luigi player, and he's like, yeah, I hated it. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> all all right. You got punished by uh, all the way across the stage now? <laughs> but Master's like, the nicest freak. He is so person. nice. Too nice. He's like, nice. Yeah, he's yeah. actually super nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about the stats? Uh, yeah, let's right. do do tournaments first. Well, yeah. While this is here, I did, you should organize a uh, We Live In Versus It Me crew battle. I think that would actually be pretty good. Actually, no, do do winners first since okay. we're talking about players. All right, what's this little graphic? So, about? yeah, we're going to talk about it, uh, it some stats okay. here. Quarter one, winner season. <laughs> oh, it's the winner season. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I put. Tournament <laughs> wins. So, yeah, we have Callmaster won all five of the tournaments he came to here. Uh, Jesus. And so on this... The, the right, the numbers on the right here represent... Yes, explain this for me, because I tried I looking it. at it, it's like, I don't think I quite understand, I understand it right off the bat. Right. If Commaster or Iquaman or something was there, it's the Vegas player that plays, that would have okay. placed first. Yeah, it, and it's, it's those tournaments plus their amount of wins, so it's like they're secretly, Kyle won six tournaments technically in Vegas. Against oh, Vegas players. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Out of Vegas players, he won six tournaments. So he placed the highest of yeah. Vegas, mm-hmm. I see. Okay. So, like, in this case, BDR won zero tournaments, but he got like second, second place to Because that was the one with DMW. Yeah. He, he did it for Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, we have here Bacon won, I think they're all rips. Pretty much all won. rips. Chard won the two rips and then had and the... Cat Hands. And the Cat Hands. And JPEG won Retro the City. smash at Retro City. And that's it. BDR was, like, second place in so many tournaments. Yeah. Uh, the last... When he drove me home that night... Um, he uh he was he was actually really frustrated when he had lost and then like he could tell I was like man I want to be the best and he could tell like I didn't realize that it was because he's literally not won a tournament this season yeah. I didn't realize that um but yeah I guess Edge is in here to be that close to that Edge is not even on there no. I was surprised no. yeah like Edge didn't win his tournament or got second or highest, second you know, or got the yeah got the how do you do when it's like the best Vegas only got like fifth. And it, we were there was no case for okay. that. It, w- it would have been like what BDR looked like, though, right? Yeah, I yeah. probably would have counted both of them. Okay, but yeah, that's uh, it's kind of interesting to see, sort of, to see how dominant Comaster and Kyle 
yeah prepare but then after that it's it is kind of close what was the best or what j what tournament did jpeg did really well for vegas that uh out of staters came uh well that okay. one okay. means there's that it's the, it's the, the tournament, it's the term, it's Retro oh, City. Yeah. It's okay. the one that he took first. It's the total, it's the tournament wins plus oh, how many. Oh, I see, I see. I should have do like, I don't, I could have. Yeah. I understand. I, I, I get it. I, I, I get it. I, I definitely, I get it now. Okay, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I just want to do that. I put the little Power Rangers thing in the background because Power Rangers was one of the choices. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, just in case we do this one first, I want people to think it's a Power Rangers Why thing. Why am I yellow? Uh, so you gotta be like that. <laughs> <laughs> that Have you guys seen that <laughs> video where color, Zordon, Zordon is a racist? That's your, <laughs> that's that's your Oh, it's funny. super funny. <clears throat> Calm Masters Pink Luigi, SK's Blue Falco. Oh, that's a uh, the mole about tan jacket. That doesn't count for... It. The st- tournament stats is just for the season. Yeah, yeah that, was, that, that was December. Yeah, when he be- when he won that JPEG, that was in December. So that feels this like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's that, and then you want to go to the the stats. Uh, the stats. Is it this one? Yeah. All right. And, okay. and we have largest event. Oh, this is like attendance stats. Yeah, this is attendance uh, for last season. I, I have a huge doc that I've kept since. It's super detailed. I'm quite impressed. April by it. 2014 has pretty much all of our events on there. Uh, so yeah, Pones 27 is the largest. What a Pones was? Yeah, the one in that doesn't surprise me that much. Uh, yeah, you've been putting in work for it, Cameron. Good job. Uh, 40 <laughs> inches, biggest Pones, but it's still like smaller than. 10 press LRA starts <laughs> but uh it's still really good like it says on the the left there underneath the pones numbers it would average 30 percent more than usual so that's uh that's pretty crazy yeah that's pretty cool that i think funny. what helped was us having less tournaments <laughs> well, yeah. well pones is becoming it well without the prls whatever that other yeah. one was this is like the main like, yeah. monthly mm-hmm. so but but it's been like how long have we not had that though it's been almost a year so yeah. it's taken this long for it to happen it, it like i mean but we did last season we had like a play play i don't know we had a lot of tournaments yeah no <laughs> last december was nine or ten tournaments in one so month. Much. Mm-hmm. um jpeg still did pretty well 32 and 30 tournaments that was after uh not having the tournament in january the genesis, right. genesis um and rip's doing pretty well four percent more uh end of december we had man the the start of january was hot it was like the pre-genesis stuff was hot i guess yeah the the three tournaments before that was first tournament was before genesis it wasn't post genesis no that's a pre-genesis yeah okay so the the last two in december was like uh 28 and 25 and then the first one in january was 27 so rip for a time there was like that's well, combination for a combination of winter tournament, break nice. plus we just had our podcast we hyped it up <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> people getting ready for, all right so uh, so tomorrow's tournament is gonna be huge everyone go there yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what po- post, post 29 on uh first. saturday in two days two days two days my bad i these are usually i thought we were doing this on friday i thought we were made them reschedule for selfish reasons but everyone agreed, so I didn't even have to explain myself but uh so if i can remember correctly the average for pones is like 33 now with all the all the bumps for jpeg it's uh 30.7 or something like that almost 31 and then rip is uh 15. 17 but it averaged like 18.4 i think rip is pretty fun when we get like more than it's cool 18, uh, when there's a lot of people on a monday is really cool it, no it i think it's it's a different experience and it's it's really fun i do like it well, the last couple rips have been crazy. Like the the first matches you're playing as someone oh, really yeah. good, the second match you're playing someone good. It's been so fucking hard to seed because it's like <laughs> two or three people that you know are going to be last seeds, and then everybody else. There's a chunk of ten people that you can just randomize it, and mm-hmm. and people will still complain no matter what. So I'm just <laughs> like, you know what? Yeah, I'll rig it so Zeta and <laughs> because why the fuck not? Because why not? <laughs> you could have dragged him down further. I know I could have <laughs> pulled him out of the rankings. But I think uh, we're pretty healthy. Actually, that this the quarter one of the year is not a very good quarter for us as a traditionally as a, traditionally as history. History. yeah no, it's totally <laughs> right, I know. no no go on <laughs> but i have the stats for this that's how i could say this stuff but quarter one is usually not good and quarter four usually isn't good but 
the fact that we're putting up positive numbers in this quarter uh, is really, really, really good news. So mm-hmm. hopefully we can continue this into the spring and summer and just make everything. Well, we feel like we should need do a strong push for Evo, make sure everyone's coming out and hope we all place well at Evo. Mm-hmm. Chard could definitely go to Evo. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't go to Evo last year. <laughs> he did go to Evo. He didn't enter melee. <laughs> what did he enter Smash Four? He entered May. Uh, he entered Project M and he took top sixteen. Oh. Yeah, for what it's worth. For what it's worth, <laughs> that's, he, that's he good. placed really well in his best game. But he's still mm-hmm. good at melee now. That I, I want to see him play more. Let's see. As well, I was really excited to see Mole play out of state too because he's like the surprise factor especially with the way mole plays and like oh wow suddenly he's like killing people like crazy um so i think they were too oh, like I, I, I really i want to see evan do well just because of the factor that he's a little kid so i want people to be <laughs> no, like, no, no, no 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 like no, no. pool like bracket <laughs> like grand finals against this fox that moves yeah. super well and the like, last time a little kid that was technical played he grew up and tore all of his thumb muscles so and evan's not as stupid <laughs> as hax is <laughs> he talks dumb but evan's not as dumb as hax is, dude. <laughs> yeah that's the thing is hax has the voice the sooth voice of no. somebody you want to listen to uh-huh. yeah. and evan just talks like <laughs> yeah, yeah. all right um yeah that's all i got for these Just okay some simple stats for us to look Let's at go back to full screen Okay, so there we go. The the power rankings and some stats. Uh, yeah, so what do we have next? Yeah, I okay. think Your we... Thing, I think, right? do, do you want to talk about Super Pwns? Oh, yeah, we can talk about Super Pwns for a little bit. All right. Oh, it's God. not the most current two days poem, but it's the last day of April, right? Super uh, last, last Saturday, Saturday last of April. Saturday of April. It's I like believe the 29th, it's, I think. Yeah, I believe it's the third to last day. Do you know who oh, last thing about Evo. Registration fees go up. April second. April second. Yeah. So register for Evo and save twenty bucks now. Mm-hmm. Oh, when's the last thing? Sorry. <laughs> April second is the last day for right. early sign up. Sure. Have you guys signed up? No, I have not yet. I'm going to though. Right. I was one win. I was one hit away from making out of a first round pool. <sighs> one hit away. I lost to this crazy t- Lovage. I lost to Lovage. Oh, that's so pretty. Crazy. No, but and then oh, I lost to oh, somebody else. Okay, okay. <laughs> At Evo. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh, Super Pwns, so it took <laughs> it took like two weeks to get the dang rewards thing going. Thank God it's not going to Compendium anymore and make I me know, so right? happy. Rewards. And so, I, I bitched so much. Every time someone used the word Compendium, I'm like, Sheridan, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> just whoever was in the thread, I'd be like, yeah. why, why the hell are you still laying this? You're intelligent people, why is this still called this? So it, was, it was a hassle to get all that together, but uh, I mean, it's there now. We have uh, five openings Per player for uh, match analysis, we have Sword, Bacon, and JPEG all offering match analysis. $10 each goes to send uh, homemade waffles to us. Fly them out here. Fly out homemade waffles, guys. Hopefully we can get that soon enough. You think we can drop in some of the... Yeah, we could fly it now. And, uh... Yeah. I mean... We should should actually buy the ticket now. (laughs) Yeah, we really should. I... the plan was not to get laid off by Amazon, and I would have paid the ticket already. And, and that, then dealt with the funding. Yeah, that there, would have so, just yeah. been us to get uh, <laughs> t-shirts and stuff. But um, things changed. <laughs> well, I could, I could buy the ticket. It's not a big deal. And then... If we're gonna, guy has an Alpha Smash well, box, uh, so he's got some fun. You got an Alpha Smash box? I, <laughs> I, I, I bought one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I bought an Alpha box to just stick it to somebody... Who I don't like, so... Hacks? Yeah. I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I bought it just to stick it to them. Just <laughs> well, I, yeah. well, here's the thing about Smashbox. To now they're 20% overfunded. Is they're, they're so sturdy that even if you got in an argument, you could just bash somebody over the head with it. <laughs> it would actually work. Uh, let's talk yeah, about but, that later. Yeah. 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 I do have uh, stuff to say about that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so April 29th, Super Pwns. It's, it's going to be run like a normal Pwns is, but uh, I think we're going to separate it into round robin pools again because there's probably gonna be a lot of people and i don't know i just want to make it a big event hopefully we can get more people with uh uh 
donating so we get a pop bonus or whatever. Yeah. But. So buy t-shirts. So t-shirts are for sale? Yes, t-shirts are for sale. Uh, cheapest thing gets a $5 wristband, but it says Vegas Melee on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The wristband's like, actually really sick. Wristbands are dope. You can hand them out to people uh, out of state tournaments and stuff like that. So stock mm-hmm. up. Get t-shirts. Get matchy-matchy t-shirts. But so so t-shirt. wristband, t-shirts, video critiques. Customizable uh, shirts as well. Tank tops. Customizable shirts. That's yeah, good. That's with, not the, with your name shirts. tag on it. All right. Um, yeah. I think those are $35, and the regular t-shirts are 25 Tank tops are 28 Analysis is $10. Wristbands are 5 That's all I got, man. All right. It's, it's so going to be a fun pumped. event. It's going to be a fun event regardless. It's, yeah. I'm going to try to make sure uh, I get things good for that, for sure. Um, how much do we have to raise? Three hundred is three hundred for waffles. homemade waffles. Okay, yeah. Tadpole would be a pretty good name. So that's, yeah, so that's that, ten yeah. shirts. <laughs> ten shirts. Ten shirts. Wait, but not all one hundred percent of the fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, shirts. Yeah, 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 sure. So maybe like yeah, twenty shirts. Right. Yeah. That 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 was difficult because I'm like, man, Smashers are cheap. I don't know how expensive oh, these shirts. Yeah. are. that's a good question. Uh, the zip code we use for Evo. Since we. Evo is using Smash.gg for registration. Oh, we don't have to do that anymore? We don't have to do that. It's However, they state. are taking the state and city. I suggest everyone just put Vegas and Nevada. Yeah, yeah just use Smash. Vegas. Yeah, just use Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Las Vegas okay. and... Don't put Henderson. You might be... I don't know how well they're going to see it. In. They might just do state or yeah. state and city, mm-hmm. but... To be safe, everyone do Nevada and Las Vegas. Well, to okay. be honest, they're using Smash GG. North it's Las Vegas it is. Better. I'm sorry? It's going to be a lot better than it has oh, yeah. in the past. I hope yeah. So. yeah. La- last time it was a freaking train wreck. Mm-hmm. Don't put North Las Vegas. Put Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Las Vegas. Oh, Trico wants to see the PR. Oh, yeah. Show Trico real fast. <laughs> All right, Trico. This is for Trico right here. Uh, the, yeah, this one. Trico, this is PR. Well, whoops. No, no. Okay, there you go. There you go, Trico. We got, uh, the mole is the mole, number nine. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, he's all the way down here. <laughs> Same place. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Trico. this new hotness right here rising up. <laughs> Sorry, I let you down, Trico. I tried to pull the mole down by beating him twice this season, and he still made it. <laughs> so I'm sad about that. Uh, uh, the knife again washed up. <laughs> but to remind everybody, Pones is this Saturday. Pones. Yeah, two days from now. Pones 29? 30. 30. Yes. So then it's Super Pones. What's the Pones after that's going to be called? 31. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or we might just be like, maybe, or it'll be, it would be June Pones, because technically Super Pones is going to oh, be... Oh, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Zeta. Hi, Trico. <laughs> I, we met at, um... At uh, G four, right? yeah, we met at G oh. four. I was hanging around Sword. Um, I was watching you guys play. I was watching you and so- uh, Sword play. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited to have homemade waffles here. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dope. Yeah, he's he's a really cool guy. He's really friendly too. It's cool. funny because the so quick homemade waffle story. The very first time that I saw him, I was at um, Active Gamers. You were at that. Um, yeah, it's at an airplane. Yeah. It's at an airplane hangar. Dentist um, Data. Uh, but uh, but uh, at Active Gamers, like every time I saw Honey Waffles, if you've ever seen him, well now you can now you see him all the time because commentary quality and everything. He's a, he's a pretty bl- big black guy, um, but uh, like he just had just this frustration expression on his face because he just lost a match. He had somewhere to be, he had to go somewhere. So I was like, man, he's one of the reasons I play this game, and I'm afraid to approach this guy. <laughs> uh, but then like. On my way out, I like, uh, he was like sitting down between some tables or whatever. I'm like, I'm gonna regret if I don't say what's up to him. So I went over and introduced myself. And he was super friendly. Like, hey, dude, I just love your commentary. Thanks for putting out all this quality content. And he was like immediately friendly. He was like, oh man, I appreciate it so much. It's so, so nice. Not like Zoo. Um, but, uh, <laughs> was great. What happened with Zoo? I have too many Zoo stories. We don't have enough time to tell all he the Zoo stories. He likes me better than Justin. <laughs> Did you get um, a Bayesian haircut? Yeah. That's part of it. Um, but, uh, but Homemade Waffle, and then every time I've seen him, like, after, he's let me on his commentary set up, commentated with him, and, like, don't go down there, Jeff, and he's really friendly, he's really cool, um, so I'm just excited to have him in Vegas and stuff, because he, he's good at, like, you know, fitting in and being a cool person, so. Yeah, and so, the cool thing about Homemade Waffles is, 
even though I told them, hey, CEO of Dream, Dreamland and DreamHack Austin are having the same weekend. If you want to drop out, that's fine because those are good events. He's like, no, dude, if you guys want me, I'll show up. That's super cool. So I'm like, dude, awesome. we have to get him here now. Yeah. And he's like, are you paying me to commentate? I'm like, no, we're not paying you to commentate. We're flying you out here so you can enjoy us and we can enjoy you. That's all it is. Okay. And he's like, sick. Yeah, let's let's do it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. That's that's all we want. I mean, he'll probably sit down and commentate. But it's not I, I, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, but I'm sure he's going to be winning a lot of games. Yeah. So, so he'll yeah. probably not have the time to, <laughs> <laughs> to do that. But I... But that was the goal of the vote was to get bottom 100 and not the top 50 100 because I wanted to sort of test the Vegas melee skill. Okay. So hopefully you guys are studying homemade waffles uh, play it's style. And, uh, and the thing is, like, too, you know him as a commentator, but he's actually he's, very he's, he's yeah, really yeah, good. He's really good. Um, at that European event, I think he took top 16 or top 32 or something. I think both him and Phil both took top 32. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. Well. Some big, we big should have uh, Triglos rally some San Diego people to come up for Super Phones. Let's put uh, that on. Let's put that on. That, that was the goal. I wanted them to come for the March one, but they said that's probably not going to happen uh-huh. unless there was a good player at the event. I'm like, okay, okay, so let's fly out a good player to one of our events. Uh-huh. Maybe, All right, San Diego. Maybe we can do a uh, uh, crew battle. A crew battle money match. Or something. We call homemade waffles. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, dude, let's, oh, let's get homemade waffles to commentate the crew battle between San Diego and Las Vegas that could happen if Tricle Man can bring five people from San Diego. Yeah, okay, yeah. You guys put whatever, what, whatever you want to put down because, I don't know. Uh, I think that's good for Super Pills. Yeah, all right. All right. That's it, Super Go Pills. to the reward shop. Buy, reward. buy some stuff. Yes, uh, buy and and if fun you, um, homemade waffles. If you donate towards me and I'm not trying to like pull away from anyone else because I don't get any of the money. Um, but if you do buy my set analysis, then I'll probably try to have like a day where I get uh, one or two people over and try to make it like an event mm-hmm. of like analysis where we go, oh, okay, so wait, it's wait. not just me not analyzing things, get someone else or a couple other people actually doing that. I've done that before. Actually, I did that with JPEG and Psycho a little bit back and that was pretty fun. Can't April 30th is the so-called arcade, but two points is the 29th. <laughs> he really can't do back-to-back tournaments. <laughs> April 30th is SSS yeah. as well. Maybe that sounds might. like a really bad organized weekend for SoCal. <laughs> or that's just how SoCal... Like, it was just like Coliseum Saturday, SSS Saturday. I know, dude. I, I hate it, dude. <laughs> they, have the, they have the... All right. Anyway. So that's Super yeah. Pones. Exciting. Super Pones. I'm excited. Hopefully I'll be there. I may be in Hawaii still, so... <laughs> Vacation? Oh, you're going to a wedding, right? Is no, no, no. It's the in and out um, manager uh, fly out vacation that my girlfriend she because she hit all her goals last year. It oh. sounds like something a dentist goes to. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, I'm on the in and out train still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. we're basically we're basically that's that's for that month. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, thought uh, I, I thought I saw that. Yeah. Anyways, whatever. Okay, I so think... Team Oxy is posting the Arcadian. Okay. So our next topic is I can't remember. The thing I put after this was, let's try to keep it under an hour. We did pretty well. It was like an hour and 20 minutes. All right. All right. So, oh, yeah. Uh, that was pretty good. If people are willing to watch, I'm willing to talk. Yeah. <laughs> we have, we could talk about plenty of things. Smashbox? Up and, uh, com- up and comers, Smashbox. Uh, oh, let's, uh, let's talk about more Vegas things. Okay. Up and yeah, comers? Yeah. Okay. Or so Favorite set last season? What do you want? Or favorite first thing thing last season? My, first thing I want to say. My though. favorite set was probably you and Kyle, the very last set of the season. Oh, my God. <sighs> Actually... Like, I, I, okay, I know I was a stock up going into his last stock, and I was just doing, you know, stupid PC drop, except I didn't PC drop, and I was just facing the wrong way. Yeah, so I'm, like, yeah. Where's my ledge? <laughs> and he shot me, and I died. <laughs> <laughs> and then going into the last stock, it's like, all right, I got this, I got this. And then I guess I was flubbing a lot of stuff. I was like, wow, I actually am really nervous. <laughs> and, like, it, it really is true. Like, the person who fucks up last wins. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, when, yeah, when it's close, that's yeah. what, that's what happens. The mole went to San Diego local while his family was in yeah. that area. He took thirteenth. I think Cole could have at least taken one slot higher. Um, he definitely had lots of jobs because he actually had to immediately leave at nine, and he sent me a screen capture of his phone. That is, and did you did I show it to you? I don't think so. Um, 
but it's a screen capture of his phone that he forgot to uh, silence when he was playing. Oh, and it's yes. his dad saying, where are you? Worried. Worried. Are you okay? Where are you? And it's just like, it's like nine or ten straight text messages from his dad and, um, just saying like, are you okay? Where are you? And I think uh, that happened like in his loser set or something like that. Oh and, and he was like, oh, I was like, so it, it was really funny. Uh, that was sad. Um, but he had to leave at a set time anyway, so it was like, it kind of is what it is. I wish, yeah, I think he could have gotten ninth or maybe played a little bit better, but, you know, that's was, how it goes. Yeah, I was kind of sad, like, uh, Trackleman posted, hey, Mole's in the SD weekly, here's the stream link, like, hey, I want to watch it. He only played in one match out. on stream, yeah. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, my favorite match for the, this last season was um, uh, AJ versus that Utah Jiggly Puff player. Oh, oh I was going to say that, I was yeah. going to say that, that was... Yeah, like, no one, like, really think it was going to be a high match. Like, I looked away one minute, or one second, looked back, Jigglypuff was just down and stopped. Yeah. How did this happen against Mari? <laughs> that pivot, the pivot, pivot forward smash. He connected out of, like, 9 out of 9. I was actually taking bets, because I don't know if I was commentating or I was just watching, but I was like, all right, let's get Who's Let's take a bet. Is he going to miss the next one? one. I, I was taking, he did not. He did not miss the next one, like, nine times in a row. I was really impressed. <laughs> if that's all you really need to beat Jigglypuff, though, like, or is it just that guy was just dying terribly? No, apparently, uh, I talked to the other Utah guys, like, that guy is okay against Marits. Yeah. <laughs> apparently he's ranked up there? I don't know. LSP? I, I just know it's... That's right. Yeah. Callmaster. His real name is Lane, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's that's some crazy technology if that actually, mm -hmm. you can just get a free tip on it. It's, it's a mix-up. It's a mix-up? Yeah. Um, basically, like, if you DI for down throw, then if they forward throw, you get tippered. And if you DI for forward throw, then you get tippered out of a down throw. Mmm, so, gotcha. And then if, like, DI if, if they can't get the tipper, then you're, they're still going to get the free forward smash. Got it. I said it's I'm crazy. The pivots. Pivots? No. All you gotta do is. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was a that was a good a good match. Um, I was gonna say that was gonna be my favorite match. But now I have to think of another one to think I'm of. I'm sorry, I took your match. That's <laughs> no, okay. It's okay. Man, I'd, I'd have to look through the history because I I don't really remember a lot. Bacon's had a lot of really good sets this season. I feel like a lot of Bacon Kyle sets are really good. I think one of the BDR Kyle sets was was really good as well just watching BDR play oh the one at uh, one of the was it one of the rips I think where everybody was. was getting loud on yeah. Dreamland yeah that was really that was really oh, good I didn't, I didn't see the vlog slash I wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah there wasn't bacon grand finals it was BDR and grand finals or winners finals or something. but previous to that it was like was it the Arcadian when uh, uh, what's his name Pyrrhic and um, the Falco guy Killer Newbert when oh, that bad pop off was that in December? <laughs> that was long. That was a that long, was long, long oh, okay. Yeah, that, was that was last spring, I think. Yeah, that was crazy. That <laughs> pop off. <laughs> I didn't know pop offs were really a thing in Vegas, but I think we're <laughs> like little uh, not great on pop offs. No, we're not. <laughs> Smash in general, but especially. <laughs> I wanna if I ever pop off, I wanna do the. Golf the golf one, the, <laughs> the Tiger Woods making fun of the, <laughs> that, um, that pop up broke the stream. Uh -oh. yeah. It did. I couldn't get the stream back. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That was April of last year. No way. Yeah, that was, that yeah. was who won that one? Evan. Evan. Newber won. That Evan. 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 Evan won it, and then wow. he didn't get ranked that next season, but the season after. Season after yeah. That. But also that's why we have the Evan Award too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right. Any up and comers that um, not uh, the the unusual specs. Unusual specs. Okay. I would say my my favorite my favorite uh, doubles team, um, both of them, even Morty and Blaze, are closer, slowly closer yeah. and closer, getting there. Blaze, Blaze was close. Uh, yeah, Blaze Blaze was close. Fourteen, um, I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, De uh, definitely getting closer and closer, and he beat Echo, which was you know. And P. Rick. Uh, yeah, e e Echo is all about beating ranked foxes. He doesn't know about unranked foxes. <laughs> 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 um, oh yeah, Blaze played amazing last rip. He beat Pyrrhic. Yeah. Um, don't know who else he beat, be, but he beat Pyrrhic, and that yeah. was amazing. Even he, even against even when he loses sets, he's usually pretty competitive. Are right, you guys ready? He you told me Jeremy. this. Blaze always recovers high, so. 
Get wrecked, uh, Blaze. Blaze right. I'm revealing the secrets. Blaze always recovers high, everybody. He also Safe. straight at you or above you. And he side B's at the top platform or the middle platform. So yeah. just get ready. Everyone. So, selling him out. <laughs> selling him out. He has to get better. He has to get better. So he, he does the the typical mango option. Every it, time. But he, yeah, then he, but he doesn't change it up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it's still the beans. Okay. Beans are out, everyone. Beans, beans are everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, Evil Morty, he's still got to get through me, because he's, I think yeah. he's beaten me one time. Uh, I think so. he, I, I think he's on a slower curve than Blaze is mm -hmm. right now. But I feel like he's switching characters, like, I feel like I played a couple different of his characters. Apparently he's finally solidified on Sheik, I think you okay. asked him at UNLV if he was. Yes. And I think he said he was gonna. He said he pl definitely played way more Sheik this season he did. than ever. Yeah. He mm -hmm. did, but he did, I think, pull out Peach against me one time. Okay. I think, uh, I think... If he does uh, Sheik only in singles and then can switch back and forth between Peach and Sheik in teams, I think mm -hmm. that's okay. that's the way to utilize uh, the double character that yeah. easy. Because I think uh, both him and Blaze have a really good team's potential. Um, they're, I think they're pretty easily the... They're like the, uh, the sea shanty of this era right now. <laughs> They're like the two oh, players yeah. that aren't good like in singles necessarily, mm -hmm. but in teams they they can compete pretty well. They're almost right now. almost exactly us because that's where we were ranked. Yeah, when we were getting mm -hmm. doubles too, we were just just in the cusp, but right. they were also only <laughs> losing to teams with like strong yeah. ranked mm -hmm. players basically, and usually then they play pretty it's well too. Missy Clint, <laughs> Clint, um, yeah, any other players? Up -comers? Yeah. I have. I like MMX is showing up to more things. No, I like, I like that he's showing up to things. Uh, I have. I guess I have two. Okay, one that's really unknown, and one that it, everyone knows. So the one that everyone knows, I like. I actually like Sabu's. Oh, <laughs> like he, Sabu's like he's up? getting he's getting some W's. Like people yeah. aren't, don't like his style, but he's getting the W. <laughs> uh, I believe he won against uh, was it Cody this season one time, right? I think so, and yeah. that was. I think that's pretty impressive, mm -hmm. like with Falco too. Yeah, I think he went Fox. Okay, still impressive. I mean, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think he went Falco Fox, and I don't know which one of the two characters won. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would like. I'm just. I was impressed with oh, that. AJ. And he won against El Santo, the Samus, which I think it's impressive for a spacey Ooh, player. I think I beat El Santo this a, season to win against us. Yeah, season. I think. He but I think Sabu, both Sabu both. also went Sheik, so like that's I. Oh, don't he did know that. Okay, yeah. I remember Fernando talking to me. He's like, I didn't realize he played Sheik. I'm like, yeah, that's how he started getting good. Yeah. No, I like, he's like, he's I just like told a, him it shouldn't have mattered. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> that's his name that's, on Discord. Yeah. Oh, Kaho, Kaho. I think Kaho's had a worse season than last season. Yeah, but. I like him. I like him too. He's super yeah. fucking yeah. cool. I, love I, him. I like Sabu for his like unusual wins. Mm -hmm. that I think it's like oh. Wow. But the thing he also has a lot of unusual losses. Who's, and yeah. Blaze always beats him. I yeah, think that's I don't true, think that's Blaze. True. Okay, okay, okay. And I think Butterscotch. Slightly okay, him. okay. But but my true uh, potential player up and comer, I think if he ever shows up again, I only saw him at one tournament. Green Ranger. Draco. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay, glad so, you mentioned him because that's somebody I want to okay, mention. So Draco, I played him last rip. No, sorry, Pwns, Pwns monthly. Yeah. He was my round one player, super technical guy, it was de but definitely felt like his first tournament, mm -hmm. but still super technical, uh, but whatever. I, I really enjoyed his playing against his Fox. Uh, so he uh, lost round one, then I went, you know, went back and checked the pools, uh, and then he made it out. He made it out. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I believe he beat Mr. Moose making it out. Mm -hmm. and that but that's where Jared couldn't. That's why the he yeah because yeah. Jared 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 he oh. got the finger. So other circumstances mm -hmm. happened, but still. Yeah. Who who is that guy that beat Evan? Like the seventh seed in my pool. Green Bean. Green Bean. Yeah. Oh, Evan was not happy about that. Yeah. Oh, oh I can't remember what he Sorry, I can't remember so what he Draco said. first tournament. He said, he said something about technical me. made it out of pools. All right, and I so see more Draco. Draco is part of Churro's crew, and that was Churro's second tournament. Ah. His first tournament, he lost to Evil Morty. In the very last losers and didn't make it to pools or to bracket. Uh -huh. The next tournament, he faces Evil Morty again. I didn't mean to do this, and he beats Evil Morty oh. to make it to bracket. Who does True Roll play? Uh, Sheik, I believe. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize Arcana is Kyle. Yeah, Arcana is But Kyle. uh, yeah, Draco and Churro are both part of the same crew, and they brought a friend. Uh, Ares. Oh, it's those guys. Okay, yeah. now I'm. And 
he was like one or two wins away from making it to bracket, but then he did like a crazy amateurs run to get like fourth oh, or fifth. Yeah. So we have these group what? of four or five guys that are playing together. Are that they net players or are they? I have no or? idea. They don't freaking talk to me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but this is like if they can keep coming to poems and just start. Yeah. Jo- I love up. to see them more. Yeah. yeah, but I do want to talk about Green Beer. Uh, I, real, real quick, because I don't have a lot to say, but uh, Gibbles also mentioned Mr. Moose and Gerardo, and both of them uh, this season suddenly are playing really well too. Oh yeah, Moose uh, Moose beat Peric or almost beat Peric, um, and Moose. then he beat someone really good Moose to get out of my pool beat too. Gerardo. Is that right? Well, with the with the hurt, yeah. but uh, in general, Mr. Moose he's moving mm-hmm. well, he's thinking well. Same thing with Gerardo. Um, I think Moose has gotten a bigger spike this season than Gerardo yeah. has, um, but I'm really impressed with them. They, they were, they're kind of like the, the churro crew, where it was just a group of them, and all of a sudden, they were good. Yeah. So. Uh, Gerardo plays Peach. Falcon. Falcon. Oh. Falcon, Falco, and Falcon, Mr. Moose plays Fox. Uh, yeah, those guys are good. And Green Bean, yeah, I put him at... I didn't know how to... Fuck, <laughs> I don't know how to see that kid. I know, he, I know he plays net play. I know he did well in the crew battle, but I was like... I don't trust his ability in in bracket, <laughs> in bracket yet. Right. So I'm just putting him right in the middle of the pool, and we'll see what happens. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, let me beat Memory. Let me beat Blaze. Oh, I'm in winners. Beat Blaze? Yeah. No. Oh. You beat Blaze on Killing stream. Foxes, I guess. Wow. Jesus. And That's he... how I was fourth seed and didn't make it out. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a one and two seed in my pool. Get and right. I forgot. Oh, and he was. Uh, he lost. 2-1 against BDR first round in bracket that same tournament. So, mm-hmm. so that's the thing. I really, w- I really want to play him because of how I play against Falcon because I want to mm-hmm. see how he could deal with like my the obnoxious way I play against Falcon and see how how he handles it. Gabo did well at that one crew battle that one tournament, but <laughs> the tournament after that he didn't do well from what I recall. But how high was his highs? <laughs> It's all he about peaks. Punch it's all about peaks. Like, we all know that. Like, circuit 2006. It doesn't matter how consistent our mod is. Mango's peaks are higher. So. <laughs> Pharaoh, I want to say you Girls because I like you as a person, peaks. but you got to perform higher. Consistency. <laughs> That's why they're in the mountains. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, we can't quite talk about yet about the players who are still in the shadows. That we can't, that have it not seen the light yet. Right. You have to, you have to show up. You have to get a couple of those upsets. Start beating Sabu and start beating Butters and like that. That yeah, tier. Uh, that's, fifteen to twenty-four. Yeah, that's, basically that's you have first. to like when I'm toing, I like put in the bracket matches. Like, oh, ooh, that's didn't expect. That. Yeah, like, you got to like, that. all right. Now I remember your name. Yeah. Other than that, I was like, all right, body, body, body. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Gibbles, you definitely have to like you have to make that upset happen because no, you're no, kind, kind of stagnant. Gibbles I feel did. Like. Gibbles definitely did because like one turn I definitely didn't even look at the brackets. Like okay, Lance won against him, and oh. I had to check. It. Oh my god, he Lance lost. Like yeah, man, shit, Gibbles. Gibbles gibbed him. <laughs> but I kind of I expect Gibbles to beat someone of that tier all the time. Okay. Like one like mm-hmm. once a, once or twice a season, I expect someone to beat someone like between seventh and twelfth. I expect Gibbles to do that once or twice a season. But then it's it's like that next level, or to consistently start doing it. Um, the, so Gibbles is consistent, um, and I've talked to Gibbles about this. He has this play style that's like really lame, but then he uses tricks to to kill people, and that's just sort of his play style. I think the moment he finds like a clutch factor to like really just hone down mentally and emotionally and start, you know beating people because I think that's a big problem for Gibbles sort of like edge in a way where it gets close and then, then he, he just can't, throws it away he can't make the win happen yeah. he has yeah. to wait for someone to make that it that used to be Mole's problem for yeah. a really long time Mole still kind of has it but he's it's not mm-hmm. as bad but yeah getting to that point where you actually win is a big as opposed yeah. to their opponent losing yeah because you can't rely on tricks the whole time and you can't rely then do, on the thing, then out. do better and losers that's the thing is you have to make something happen that makes your seating better mm-hmm that's why you're seated how you are. Oh man! You the there was this way. one year where I played Kyle first <laughs> every <laughs> tournament. It was so frustrating. But when you can't really complain about it, you just have to do better. Yeah, there was. And that's why it's double elimination. Then you have to beat all the bad people that are also down there with yeah. you. So during the dark ages, we had uh, 
like outer staters come every now and then mm -hmm. and it was daniel rodriguez was always the one oh was he's the chosen yeah players. that's the guy right. you play against you too right. <laughs> <laughs> <He's like, "Why?" laughs> uh, because we're so saying... small at that point like daniel rodriguez like i mean he hasn't really practiced so he's probably still not that good but it's like we have to put somebody against the first round, and it's going to be you, Daniel, because you're the yeah. first player. Yeah. I want to say Gibbles is probably 13th or 14th this season. Yeah, he's... he's Gibbles right and Blaze were both around that spot. TC1 was actually right there, too. Mm -hmm. If TC1... I don't I don't know if he's still active in the chat, but uh, uh, he would have had the Evan Award, I think. So, <laughs> yes. man, you fucked up, man. Did you he think, not go to an he, event? No, he was like one event short or something or two events. He, the thing is, he entered doubles a lot. He, oh, yeah, but yeah. he it's very rare that he actually enters, enters singles. Mm -hmm. um, but he would have had the Evan Award over Jared. Um, but uh, yeah. but yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he he didn't go to yeah. That's a big loss. I was impressed by some of your plays this season. Yeah, Just let's talk beating. about Zeta. Yeah. Yeah. Beating uh, Mole, like, Mole what do you record against Mole? Well, the first time I beat Mole, he threw it away. Okay. He had a bad controller. He was borrowing your controller, Charles. Charles controller. Okay. So um, Take that one, well, even Take though it was it was close, he killed killed himself at the last time. And then the second time, I really had focused on fighting Captain Falcons, and I really wanted to beat him again. So I did. <laughs> this last time, I hadn't practiced <laughs> at all, and I did the I he did the call out he because he clearly it was really fun. wanted to be. Yeah. You were winning so, game one. That's my Discord yeah. topic is. Rig the bracket. I'm gonna need this man. That's the Discord topic still. <laughs> yeah, that is, that was, it was fun. But I, just, I love playing the mole. It's just a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, um, you beat E40, E40. which oh, yeah. which is always a close set. Yeah, I had to tell E40 that because he was salty about it. I'm like, dude, every time you two play, it's eight minute matches and it's yeah. super close. Yeah, um, I think the last before I won the last three times we had played, it was one one last stop last mm -hmm. hit. The last three times, and the time, be two times before, it was literally because I ran in to to dash back out so I could beta attack out, but I was one frame too late and I did the slow turnaround, wow. and he just nared and killed me. And he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry about that slow turn." I was like, "So am I." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and I was gonna, I was, I was, I knew he would like he would attack, so I was just waiting for him to attack, and now it's gonna bear him. But I got the slow turnaround. So oh, that's right, Kaho beat your JPEG, huh? Kaho, yeah, Kaho okay. beat me, yeah. Um, he did. I was gonna, I was gonna mention that I think you do have a sheik weakness. I do, um, but not against Chard. I feel like I play well against Chard. I don't know what it is. Maybe right. I I respect Chard a little bit more, and so I play a little bit safer against him. Or I understand how Chard wants to play a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But um, G Gibbles is really my weakness. I was gonna say like it's not so much sheiks. It's Gibbles. Gibbles has, Gibbles has your number. Gibbles has my number. Um, there was a time when I was being Gibbles. Dial. But ever since like <laughs> the Art series came out, I haven't beat Gibbles ever since Art. And it was like this gimmick he would do to me where he would he would Shino stall, and I would get frustrated and just jump in, and he would get me and kill me. He said that out loud to me that like, dude, I just get a lead in Shino stall and I'd win. <laughs> and so, he specifically told me. So that yeah, and so far and it's it was hard. funny because at this, <laughs> at yeah, it had maybe it has been over here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But at this at this last tournament um, where I played him, I don't know I which one it was, but I it was at JPEG. I took the first match like quite handedly. I had won that first match, and that second one he went to Shino Stall again. I was like, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, game one I got yeah. So yeah, it was game one where I kind of wrecked him, and then uh, game two he Shino Stall me, and I was like, no, <laughs> don't do this. And, and but he ended up winning the match anyway. So he ended up playing a little bit better that second and third match, but it was good times. Um, that game against E40, though, um, apparently I was playing, uh, quote unquote, against, against what Cody said was I played super lame. Like, I didn't die in, until above like 140, 150 the whole time because I was running around lasering so much and like I wouldn't die. And so I didn't think I was playing lame, but apparently by Cody's standard, I wasn't playing <laughs> well, lame. And he's seeing it from a peach point of view. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched your guys' sets and. Mm. If you want to, if you want to use lane, lane, both of you guys are playing lane. Yeah. <laughs> both of you are playing super patient. That's why it, it yeah. always lasts so long. Yeah. Too. Um. Currently, um, in the last year, I have never lost to Gibbles you has, or Sabu. Oh, has two numbers. Yeah, apparently so. Um, he's got that space animal, that mid-tier space animal. Uh, How's that moose? We were just, we were just saying that you're a pretty cool dude earlier. Yeah. Wait, what does a moose sound like? 
<laughs> it's like but a yeah. scary cow. <laughs> it really is. But uh, I have definitely, in the last, since Genesis, have been putting a lot of practice in. Uh, I have this cheat sheet at home. It's got about 20 movements on there that I practice, if not every night, every other night. And it goes, That's good. I, I have that too. It goes short hop laser, full hop falling laser, approaching laser, retreating laser, platform laser. A lot then, of lasers. Well, <laughs> no, that's no. a lot of Dako's digital game. No, no, and then it's it's wave dash, uh, out of shield, wave dash, out of shine, uh, and then it's uh, invincible ledge dash, um, 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 shield drop, um, and then um, L canceling. Um, so shuffling like neutral air, shine, neutral air out, and then uh, neutral air and shine, dare out. Can I add one thing to your yes. list that I think will be really helpful? From a full hop down, Waveland out or in. Oh, okay. There you go. I should, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so, with Falco, if you're doing that full hop laser and you want to hit him, uh, right when it, there's an animation where he spins midair, if you press laser right there, it, it, it hits a fox. So, if you want to practice full hop laser, that's how you. That's the Lalo, it's, use. it's four total tournaments. One of the tournaments has to be either a Pwns or a JPEG. I think so basically you just go to all all like just go one of each yeah yeah or no and then another one and or then something. whatever you, want. <laughs> yeah. so. you missed almost the entirety of everything carsoni <laughs> <laughs> so i think the biggest thing that everyone well, well you'll see the biggest return is is learn to move yeah i Learning actually made a move. big i made a big thread about that uh, a lot yeah, yeah. melee is a game of all about baits mm -hmm. so learn to move because the biggest thing about newer players when they say they why they're getting frustrated is like i feel like i can't move it's because like you don't know how to get out of pressure in and out or moving things around so if you want to watch like a really good video on on a movement or like how you should be thinking about the game there's a smash practice video that cactuar and oh, yeah. zoo where they actually diagram movement and what and what you should do and how you jump in and out i think they only did one video of that type but it's an amazing mm. hour-long video that you, everyone should watch um, and it talks about how like how hard it's hard to get out the top platform sometimes and if your movement was better or you kind of switch your movement about you can kind of get in and out of situations a lot easier um, uh, Lalo yeah rolling's good but if they catch on then you should catch on too <laughs> no yeah so like that's the big thing like rolling it works in it, up to a certain level and then after that level it, you get destroyed if you roll so it's only so good. And then it becomes uh, slightly viable after that. Yeah, and then you get to the mango rolls and then you're like, what, how is he getting those rolls out? Yeah. But you have to make people respect you before you can roll again. Yeah. So there's that, there's that thing. Yeah, I think for most Vegas players, like, rolling is pretty, a good defensive <clears throat> tool that most Vegas players won't always cover. Mm -hmm. But you know who does cover it? Amazing? Echo. Echo covers the roll in so good. So don't ever roll in against Echo. <laughs> Bacon's good at setting up on shield and then punishing a roll too. Yeah. That's why... If you watch me and Kyle, he'll never roll into me. <laughs> yeah. Until, yeah. Like, okay, he's still good at adapting. Like, our meta, or like, when we play against each other, he just stays in shield now. It's like, okay, now I just have to grab him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you started doing that a lot. Yeah. But it took me a set, it took me getting 3-0 to realize yeah. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Qualifications to show up on the spreadsheet are the same. Four tournaments, and one of them has to be JPEG or Pumps. Oh, that's true, dude. Is that you, Churro? With part oh, of the, the guy! Crew. Oh, you're just talking about how much you liked him. Too. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> get your crew here all the time. <laughs> who? Oh, uh, oh, who are, oh! <laughs> target! That's um. Uh, that's Morty. That's Morty. Dude. Even Morty. <laughs> Even Morty. <laughs> Morty Sabu, do, do it! Do it! Do it. <laughs> Pones, Wait, why is Sabu do challenging him? <laughs> Gibble is the one who said it. No, because Mo <laughs> no, Morty said Sabu was free or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, but I want to see Sabu maybe throw down the challenge against Gibbles because Gibbles says he has your number. So let's and see. You that have one. to challenge him too. Oh no, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just play Lady Lady because I love this game. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, newcomers and kind of what's kind of going on. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, um, well, I want to do say one thing. I was talking to Sword about is um, everyone has gotten a lot better. So like, the, but the top players haven't moved as much up as the bottom players have moved up. Does that make sense? So like the skill gap is closing, like the bottom like 15 to 24 are, are getting a lot better. I definitely agree with that. So. It's, you can but see the I, at the same, I feel like they're closing in 
on themselves, but not up and to the top level. I feel like that gap's the same. Like, okay. Yeah. I think yeah. between yeah. me and Cody, yeah. I think yeah. there's still that gap, and everyone else basically is catching up to Cody. Basically. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> catching up to Cody. <laughs> Cody's getting stampeded right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, anything left to say about last season? Um, um, I, I denied Frog accidentally like three times to get on stream because people rose their hand first or ran to the stream before him. So, so that's why he's getting his own money match. Yeah, everybody, if you want a money match Frog, get him to Pones. <laughs> that's all I got to okay, say. I'm going to be on the PR next season. You heard it from me here. Who Sabu after Wednesday Friendlies in February. Oh, <laughs> shit. Garsoni Ma- caught it on. Uh, Bacon's uh, prize pony wants to, wants to make it happen. <laughs> it said by summertime. I can, I, can, I can see Sabu making it. He's going to have some big wins, though. He's got to have some big wins. Big wins. He's, what is he, around 13-ish, 14-ish? Nice. I agree. He's, he's further? He's, he's around yeah, 18, he's 19. Yeah. Ooh, where I think he has bad losses. Like Probably around the same area, I think. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll practice again, and I'll bring my puff out against you, Sabu, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 100% win record against Straw with his puff. <laughs> and Sabu. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, I have nothing else uh, to say about last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Anything yeah. else you guys want to talk about? We kind of want to talk about Smash Bombs. Would have been ni- talk- would have been nice for me and Char to win teams a little bit more. Oh, I want you and JPEG to team more. I want you guys to because you guys. You guys are, really, are good. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are the, good. The only time I ever see you play well in teams and care is when you team with JPEG. So I'd really like you to team with JPEG some more again. Because whenever you team with not JPEG, you don't give a fuck, or you play like you don't give a fuck, <laughs> and it's so frustrating. Because like, when you played against Smash Kings at uh, UNLV, I was like, wow, Bacon is fucking amazing. And I used to think that about you and teams. Like, yeah, Bacon's so good at teams because like he crosses up so well, he switches targets really clean. But you only ever do that with JPEG. <coughs> you don't you don't put in any effort when you're not teaming with, uh-huh. with JPEG. So I like. I'd like to see you team with a... I have a theory on that. I think I see myself more of a support player in teams. Uh Uh-huh. And I'll I'll absolutely go out of my way to save JPEG. Yeah. Yeah. Because JPEG goes in. He will will carry us. I want every hit kind of player. Right. The thing Um, is, you guys have teamed so long that it's a thing with you. You guys understand each other. Except that when I team with other people, I'm like, okay, I should be more of an aggressive player and try to play that style. And it probably doesn't work as well. <laughs> and then I was like, should I say my teammates? Like, eh, they're not JPEG. <laughs> like, yeah, because on Monday, you were like, should I save you? And I was like, no, don't even drop the save me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did like our team. Yeah. Data. Data. Our right. next team, or team name is uh, 5050. 5050! <laughs> oh, that's so good! Carsoni, if you want a team with Edge, like, you have to get a lot better. That, and I mean that on two levels. One, because you're not the strongest player yet. And... Well, actually, I mean, on multiple, multiple. Yeah, levels. me gives team. Um, you're levels. not the strongest player right now. You play Falcon, who is only okay at the two on one, and Edge plays Jigglypuff, who is abysmal without a good offensive teammate. Jigglypuff yeah. is so bad in teams if the other player isn't really, really, well, really good. Well, both, both characters are bad without an aggressive. Well, Carson, aggressive. we played Carson and Edge, right? Yeah. On a potential, a potential. So I told like your strategy against Edge with Zayn. Uh-huh. I told him to follow that game plan. Yeah, we're, we destroyed it. Down. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, you just focus. And when uh, who is it? Mole teamed with Echo. The uh, thing is, Mole and Echo, are, neither of them are good at team. <laughs> um, and uh, and actually, at one point, uh, they both lost like one-on-ones hard to Carsoni and that's why they lost the set but if they had just played like clean basically um, on the sets where that team lost Carsoni died five or six times because mm-hmm. that's the strategy it's not even necessarily Carsoni's fault yeah. but he's playing a character that's that's tough to deal with under pressure against two space animals or, easily gimped um, easily gimped um, and Jigglypuff like can't really help Falcon that much um and Falcon's used to grabbing and doing something. He can't really grab, set up, rest like that often. Falcon's so vulnerable all the time. Yeah. So it's just, you, your team comp is a very, very difficult one to pull off. And if you want to pull it off and actually be successful, you have to get really, really fucking good. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be really hard. And as, as a tip for people playing against like a floaty and a fastballer team, 
the goal is hit the floaty away and just focus your heart out on the the fast faller mm-hmm. on stage. Mm-hmm. Team Dasia. Yeah. And that's that's, that's me and <laughs> me and Blaze's strategy too. Yeah. Um don't even especially if it's a character that your edge guard rate against them is like twenty five percent like Peach or Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Characters that you just don't edge guard just don't even bother. Yeah. Um because you're wasting time standing at the edge on a character you're not even gonna hit again. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, just team, double team the other guy. Even if it's a double floaty team, just don't edge guard whatever floaty is knocked yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. And just double team the What's other guy. What's up, character. JPEG? You're not ranked. You're bad. Yeah, you <laughs> get ranked. This is why Samus is usually considered bad in teams. Yep. Because she takes the longest so to recover. So long to recover. And the only time that Samus really uh, flourishes in uh, teams on stage is when her missiles are really well set up and her, like, Honestly, Super Wave Dash is really useful to <laughs> teams. Uh, just because uh, if Samus is split, it allows her to get back in. Um, mm-hmm. Daryl and... Uh, who Daryl team with? That Jigglypuff player? 4%? No, uh, Dark. Dark, yeah. The, they're really successful because Daryl managed to always get back in the mix really quickly and set up uh, projectiles. It's really hard to do with Samus. They have really good synergy. And yeah. that's, that's actually considered a pretty good team because of Pluff and Hungrybox. Mm-hmm. So, because... Because Jigglypuff could stay above the missiles, so Samus can still play their game, and Jigglypuff just has to manipulate their game a very little bit in order for the team to work. And keep them inside the projectiles. Yeah, and Samus hits people up with down smash and down tilt, and has up throw, so... But uh, a fast faller teaming with a puff, the fa- all of the pressure is on the fast faller. Mm-hmm. Just because the puff can't help it. There's nothing the Jigglypuff can do to kind of change that, except score rests like crazy. Which isn't yeah. like always expected. And yeah, um, so the fast faller has to constantly be playing well and uh, not getting destroyed. And especially Falcon is the worst of the characters to <laughs> not get destroyed, probably because his recovery is like slow and predictable and easily two versus one. <laughs> uh, Cody wants us to reset the stream. <laughs> but uh, at least, uh, but at least like Falcon has a shine. Even wait, Cody is super lingo. Mm-hmm. Super lingo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can end up now and then start talking about yeah we can announce our start start okay. Smashbox uh, okay yeah we'll do a restart so Cody can see the PR I guess so. alright guys bye guys <laughs> we'll be I'm right we'll be, we'll be right back we'll be right back we'll be like two <laughs> seconds <laughs> but I think like a huge thing in teams for the for the aggressor no I'm getting is to like you have to realize that it's not all about getting your combos and trying to edge guard all the time. You're not playing aggression as in you're playing 2v1. You're getting damage on them and putting them in bad positions. So it's like sometimes just hit them at your your friend and your mm-hmm. friend could do something real quick and then could probably help you out on 2v1. If it's a Jigglypuff and you do a, a good enough hit, they're getting a rest out of it. You help them out. Now you got a 2v1. You're winning the, you're winning the game so far. You know? Oh... Uh... When will the they're that's about the spreadsheet. Okay. Uh, uh, I the, guess we should just start or wait for Justin or I we could start. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The spread uh, yeah, the spreadsheet should, should be tonight. Hey guys. Uh it's spreadsheet tonight? Does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, they keep asking for it. I don't see the, the people point want of it. it. It's not even the the new season yet. Yeah, guys. Yeah, exactly, it doesn't matter. The people want it. The people, people want it. The people well, press the people. one if you want it tonight. Press two if it's you want to it wait until matter. you want to have the suspense until the end of the season, yeah. which is I in two days. Go. Hit one for me, guys. I want to know <laughs> what place I am. I think I'm around fifteen to, between fifteen and twenty. That's where I think I'm at. I'm pressing sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, they probably honestly didn't see any of that because of ad probably played on half of people's Twitch. <laughs> uh, okay. You want to make the same conversation again? Yeah, it was sort of sound. All right. I went against Fox Falco when I went to Houston tourney, and I don't know about those Fox players. But I, 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 uh, I think we're back. I can't like this Twitter we, tells us if it's ad running or not. I mean, how uh, can ad run if we have like no like? It still does. It still does. It? It, okay. Yeah. That way, just Twitch gets. Press one if you can see us. Press two if you could just hear us, and not see us. <laughs> Press three if none of the above. <laughs> Press nothing if we don't see anything. Or hear anything. <laughs> All right, so they can see us. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so what we were saying was spreadsheet. Press one if you want it tonight. Press two if you 
don't really care and want it later. Yeah, you want to you know, have the suspense. <laughs> Give me the only one <laughs> press. I want to be a trash talk before, you know, stuff happens. <laughs> <laughs> I actually you know. want to see what my score, how much Did Morty respond changed. to Sabu at all? No, no. he didn't. Morty's he, not on there. Yeah, I figured he probably wants one, it. One, 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 one. I'll make one. The people want it. Kaho wants it. People want it. Yeah, I figured anyone would want it. These guys are hungry. This the the fifteen to, or the thirteen to twenty five are hungry. They want to get better. <laughs> yeah, Nando's one of those. Look at him go. Look at Nando. That he's around twenty five. <laughs> yeah, he's really low. Gibbles for a guess between next degrading part, and then showing up and then getting body or just. Um, I think Jared might be the next guest. You guys cool. consistently. Yeah. I have fun. one MK member. One MK, one PBS, one VHC, one Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so. Oh, yeah, Smashbox. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're so, talking about the Smashbox. I, too, got the uh, Alpha, uh, Alpha, Alpha Edition. Build? Yeah, Alpha Build. Yeah. Like, I saw the update, it's like, oh, I'll get it to support them. I, this was before, like, hit the 50k, mm-hmm. and, like, by the time I checked, like, oh. Yeah, they're at, like, 64k it. or something. Oh, yeah. jeez, wow, they, impressive. They, yeah, have, like, 20% over, um, overfunded. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Once I saw uh, Sean's update, like, the alpha build, like, how excited he was, like, that's when I knew I had to get it. Like, I was, like, on the on the border, like, on the cusp. I was like, do I really want need a Smashbox, or do I really want one? Was I was this, like, like, before this, you didn't, did you have, like... Were an you... intention to buy one? Yeah. I was thinking about it. Oh, okay. Okay, I was thinking about buying one. So, okay, you didn't even pledge that you were 200 yet. No, I didn't pledge 200 yet. Once I saw the alpha build, I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you, when you got your Smashbox, are you going to play Falco, or are you going to go Fox? I am going to try and play Fox with it. Um, okay. Because I'm gonna keep Falco on my controller and then try and play Fox, or try and play Marth on uh, the Smashbox. Cause it'll be easier to pivot. <laughs> uh, one one caveat to that, I don't know if that's the right word. Um, tilts are hard. Tilts are hard. I'm are gonna they? tell you right now. Tilts are fucking hard on the Smashbox, and mm-hmm. so are angles. Because you have Fox. to do a modifier and then. Mm-hmm. Modifier it's plus direction plus you can't like uh, you can't like buffer a walk into things as easy. You can't just be like, oh, I'm walking now. I'm gonna fork tilt. It's like, where's my walk button? <laughs> and then oh, now I'm turning around. Yeah, it's. But I it's feel tough. like they are gonna address that with their new update. They have like programmable angles for that. The, the alpha build has stuff. Alpha, yeah. Okay. So it's not just these are good angles for Firefox. Mm-hmm. It's you could do others. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So That's I don't really know. Cool. Maybe that will help more. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I imagine jump council grabs pretty easy. Yeah, they put Y, Z next to each other. But we don't know if that's the fi- like true final layout. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's a, yeah, yeah it, it used to be ring finger pinky, which is which was okay for the time, All right. because that's the only time you ever use those. Okay, so let me ask you. So obviously you've seen the Smashbox way before like anyone else. Yeah. So when did you first see it? I, I first saw it in November, October of 2015. Okay. And it was, it's the one that everybody thinks of as Smashbox. It's, right. It's that. The rectangle design. And the moment I saw that, and my talking with Dustin before that, is like, this is version one. We're going to change it. <laughs> and like, that's been in my mind the whole time. So. Yeah, but they didn't communicate that. Exactly. Didn't. That's the, that's the big problem. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like that's one of their major issues. Like. Kind mm-hmm. of crappy, definitely crappy communication. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. If, publicity and all that. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. if I had any criticism toward the Hitbox guys, is they did the testing and giving the boxes out to the wrong people in the wrong times. What they should have done is gave us the testing boxes to the Vegas Melee community so we could sit there and work with them. Instead of sending it all across the country and world, to, yeah, to hype players, yeah, to, to hype it up, it would have cost less, and they would have gotten changes done right away. Because after two days of me on the Smashbox, guess what my layout looked like? It looked like Hax's fucking box, <laughs> and I didn't see this shit. I think I put the A button where the C the C stick was. I moved the B. Right. I moved the Z. Right. So it's like, and I and I angled it, and I <laughs> made it look like the hitbox. So well. 
I think give me the chats. Give me the chats. I don't the believe guys, anything. The guys are unless, unless you have a screenshot <laughs> taken out of context, I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe any of that. What you just said. <laughs> and that's the thing is the, the thing too is like for the most you kind of have to because because of like the proof of concepts rectangular. You you assume that they're, they're always thought to do rectangular, but if you've seen a hitbox, you know. they're not. They're not. And actually, what you can Google, I found out. Nando. Nando told me if you Google M I M Mim Street Fighter, there's a picture of her holding her hitboxes and their curved layouts. That's the mm -hmm. fastest way to find it, and she's pretty good looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so that's a or pretty quick way to I just grab mine right now and show it. To the oh, that's right, that's right. You have a hitbox? Yeah, I used to play. Well, I play FGC sometimes. Nando, I saw the hitbox. I believe it was like around so the, the time you got it. The original, original one. It is curved. Yeah, it's curved. Yeah, yeah. So. it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. And there's other variations of it now too, right? Haven't they changed it a little bit more now? Uh, I think this is the final or uh, no, that, that that's what it is. Sometimes okay. they'll well, let me see the jump button. Well, yeah, let's. So this button here, everybody, this is up. Just to confuse everybody, <laughs> this is the up button. That is like the longest thing for me to realize. Okay, but up here. If you, if you call it jump, it it changes everything. But basically, what what some people do is sometimes they'll move it, they'll move it uh, more towards the regular buttons, so uh -huh. they can use it with the right hand, or they'll move it over here, just to, just for comfort stuff. Well, I was gonna say I think it's in the middle, so you could use it with yeah. both left. Right. Yeah, right. that's, that's, right. that's, that's what that's what yeah. people do. Okay. So they'll they'll play essentially like this. So if there's certain texts that require like a jump right there, but they need to enter that right there. I, I absolutely love the hitbox to play uh, Fighter Or an H so they can think faster. I love playing Street Fighter with it, but oddly, I feel like I'm more comfortable with a stick in MVC3. But maybe I'm just not, like, more... I haven't played MVC3 enough with the hitbox. But, yeah. Um, I got the alpha build. I actually... I saw, like, the stats for, like, which cities and states. I was surprised that Vegas only had five pledgers. Vegas has five with, like, eight or... I think Vegas has eight with five in Henderson, so or no, eight total. I don't know. Well, uh, well four, when four, I four. pledged, there was five. Okay. So. Well, but, we also take take into account that the Vegas Smash community is really small. That's true. Yeah. And poor. And poor. And poor yeah. Did you um, did you check? And because so we're a young community, a lot of the young young players actually really don't like the box system. Oh, okay. Most of my crew really doesn't like it, but I've never been anti Smash. Bros, I so. I think it's fucking hilarious that Evan was just a, completely against the idea, and the moment Hax creates a video, he's like, "Oh yeah, Mana, I know exactly what Hax is talking about." Yeah, like, he, that's what ha no, that's I what happens to you. like a lot of people though, because like mm -hmm. generally people are like, "I hate box, uh, I hate the concept of box, I hate all this." And then once it started this whole thing, people were like, "Oh, hacks is saying things. Let's let's Listen. make a system and let's get hacks as hacks yeah. as one." Um, but that's that's the Smash community for you. <laughs> when and like I think I posted on Twitter. I think that's a good thing. The drama at least has brought one good thing is people have started to recognize the boxes. Right. And now I think people are more open minded to the idea of it. Mm -hmm. Actually. I feel like my left thumb is never at that jump button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love the hit bars. But, yeah, it'll, be, um, it'll be interesting to see. I think I think the most interesting thing about the whole drama is uh, they're both saying they stole the idea from each other. However, they both they, they both, both worked on the yeah. the alpha build the build design. change, and it's like. How are you stealing from somebody that worked that you were on, collaborating you were, with it? Yeah, I'm just thinking it's like me. what they think like contribute is like the most for it. Mm -hmm. So hacks doing the initial layout. Yeah, thinks he like okay, this is my idea. Uh, He's like yeah, but you were collaborating like, <laughs> like yeah. no, one. change everything around to make it you know curved or whatever. So that sh is like the most contribution. Yeah, or, I don't know. So, well, yeah, in his video, he's like. He doesn't deny the fact that Gravy and Biscuits helped them. He just says, oh, they hardly did anything. But the, where's the fucking screenshots, bro? The screenshots say, Gravy, Biscuit, and I worked on this. And yeah. this is the final version, in my opinion. It's like, yeah. It's like, and he's the one that left. So, like, yeah. it's like, you collaborated to make this thing. 
and you it's it's not your patented design mm-hmm. the whole idea of this thing even existing is hitboxes mm-hmm. um so like i don't know the whole trying to take credit for any of this and well, trying I, to hold yourself as a hero that's the most annoying the, thing the most i think the and most that's what's gotten so is, much of a bandwagon is how the snatch community now views dustin yeah, yeah. yeah. with his update part. video yeah. with his update video yeah, it's so know. sad because we all know him he's a really nice guy yeah. but that video makes him yeah. look super desperate and because he's and speaking as like he's a you know like people will know him because mm-hmm. he is like well like a well known yeah. member in the, FGC, in the fighting yeah, right. yeah, yeah FGC FGC is, but the smasher sees him as an outsider mm-hmm. and yeah that, yeah there's yeah. even <laughs> Justin Wong has uh, tweeted yeah. saying, saying that like Dustin's like the coolest guy like mm-hmm. I can't believe that uh, you guys are like doing yeah. throwing him under the bus like yeah. this um, it doesn't have yeah it doesn't have that that video wasn't super there, cool, but there might be an alpha at Pones this Saturday I'll have to talk, talk to Dustin again but they have the alpha alpha or... well it's the alpha alpha I alpha guess. alpha but basically we, we had the smashbox uh, you should was, have a curtain on top of it, and you have to sign an NDA. Yeah, yeah I feel like everyone's got to sign an NDA when we see it. Yeah. If, um, if, if he made don't worry, Hacks, I'll take a picture of it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Hugs' is Did Hacks tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the... Hug, well, Hugs is a troll now. I don't fucking yeah. know what happened. But uh, he's on his stream, drunk as hell, and he's like, okay, so this is what Hacks, this is what Dustin told me to do. Dustin calls me up, and he's like, okay, I'm sending you a... A Kodak disposable camera. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to take a picture of Hax's box at Summit, okay? And he's like, dude, I can't fucking do that. Do I got to go... <laughs> and I take the picture. It takes me two weeks to fucking <laughs> get <laughs> develop, it, develop it. Can I develop it at Rite Aid? Rite Aid doesn't fucking exist near me anymore. And he's like, oh, this, <laughs> no, that's, that's, a super, that's a super troll. That's a super troll. And he's like, well, it was like, I was about to take the picture, but he I, he heard the, the crank of the... He turned and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Max, dude, why are you Dude, I love Hugs' stream. It's, it's super funny. Even though I had to go in there and be a... a chat warrior defending Dustin last oh, last, yeah. last night because he was like doing like a review of the update videos and everyone was just trashing for this I'd honestly rather him not um, not la- leave them out to test now at this point with all the issues with uh, privacy with mm-hmm. him with him so well, if if there's not a smash box at poems understand why like yeah yeah the, well, I think all we're the, trying to collaborate think, with someone <coughs> with the intent on like hey I heard you murdered your hands idiot let's help you uh, let's help you uh, play the game again turning into like this entire shit show well, yeah uh, once, <laughs> once Gravy's final video came out I think everyone realized yeah that was how much of a, a shitty deal. deal Hacks was trying to mm-hmm. force upon Dustin and how terrible and then Hacks' twit longer was really bad yeah so <laughs> Yeah. It was like the equivalent of Hax's video and then Dustin's yeah, like, good yeah. response. Well, Gravy did the same thing and then Hax returned with a bad response. Th- this was like a, an extraordinarily long extended game of chess where like Hax was trying to move the pieces around and trying to make everyone look like a certain way. Mm-hmm. And then it all fell apart when Gravy made his video because like Hax made the, he released the video during Genesis, like his, yeah. you know, his response or his... But his first update video was Genesis Weekend. Uh-huh. Like the and that was a big weekend for Hitbox team. Uh-huh. And then during the kick the Kickstarter reveal, like right after that, and then another one recently, and then he's like, Oh, I'm gonna release a video on um legality, how H or the hitbox isn't gonna be legal. So he's like trying to time it out so that like the Kickstarter gets defunded. And that's what made De- uh, Dustin so desperate. Like literally like Hacks was playing it so well that like Dustin felt like he could do nothing and mm-hmm. he was gonna he's gonna lose his project yeah I would be super apart. I would be super frustrated yeah too, like. yeah I was like really afraid that like I can't what was it uh, three days before oh four days before like I don't know if anyone's gonna believe they me. had five days and they're out by 10 grand I don't know if anyone will believe me when I'm saying this but if it was going to the last like five minutes and it was not gonna be funded I was gonna fund the rest of it like, you're just gonna I was just <laughs> gonna what, gonna was, your, what was your cap right? 10,000 I was gonna fund it. My thing was like, I'll throw in another two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was, I would, I would have done it, but would have asked Dustin later to buy them off of you. Yeah, yeah, buy them off of me or whatever. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, I would, I would have made sure that it went through 
but not expect it to like give him ten thousand dollars. <laughs> like I would have made it to, to make it go through. And just like, cause like, like good people like should should finish first. And so I was gonna do it. So. Yeah, that's- Nice but I don't know if anybody <laughs> believe me when I, when I, I believe. That, but, I know, I absolutely, I absolutely believe you. I know you. So, I know you guess. Yeah, and so like, dude, I can't believe hacks is like it's such a, it's just such a shitty situation. So, but it revealed itself. Like I was saying, it was it was perfectly played until the very end, and now he's out of moves. He's like literally out of. He can't really say anything. Well, he it. still has a legality video that mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. wants to release later, which is another shady as fuck thing. That's like like clearly. Like, even if you're taking Hacks aside, assuming that Smashbox was trying to put out a bad product. This is, again, like, none of us believe that. But if you, even if you assume that Smashbox was trying to put out a bad product and Hacks was specifically um, trying to be a hero and save the day, like, he has a whole legality video that he's, like, holding as, like, a trump card. Yeah. Um, which is still questionable, especially because Smashbox is going to integrate Nunchuck. So mm-hmm. then, the even if the analogs are questionable, you have Nunchuck, which you can't argue in. An analog stick, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, that just but like, well, yeah. Why? Why is that? Why is that a hidden thing? If if he actually had the intent on being a good guy, why didn't he bring that up directly to yeah. to Hitbox at any point, even after he had left? So he's like, specifically doing it, like he's clearly specifically doing it for his own business. And I think the um, yeah. So the like, biggest even if you're on his side, he's not a fucking hero. So was get, like get, get, out of, get that out. He realized like what little he actually had in life at the summit. Oh, and this is a, one of the hugs's quotes: "Is like I'm not hacks fucking money. I'm hacks fucking broke. He has no money. He's playing League of Legends. He can't play the game he loves. And you know his hands busted. He, he hasn't gone to school yet or anything like that. And he needed like a source of income, something to kind of right. to, to carry him in further. And he saw this opportunity with Dustin and." Like it, it could have been like yeah. his. It could have Hugs been. said that. No, no, no. Hack said that to Hugs. Oh. As a as a joke, but a serious like every joke is a half truth. So like I'm not hacking fucks money. I'm hacks fucking broke. Like he literally had nothing. Like, and now he's trying to monetize the box. So, or the B zero X X. So. Well, I'm just I'm like super curious like how he's gonna handle like the business side of it like and that mm-hmm. manufacturing. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm just curious how that, he's gonna handle it. That's been a huge argument I've been using is. Yeah, okay, they have two engineers. Yeah, they have hacks who's played Smash. But the thing is... These people that haven't manufactured controllers. Yeah, you have people who have sent them across the world, first of all. And then on top of that, yeah, okay, Biscuits is Gravy's girlfriend. And she's part of the project. But she's still a human factors PhD. And uh, Caitlin McGee is an ergonomics expert working on it as well and so. actually her little her little review on the box didn't actually or on the the boxes didn't really set an argument one way or another but she she basically said that there's not a there's not really anything bad as long as the buttons are placed right mm-hmm. and I think what what's I just think this is just a good thing for the smash community I think this is something we needed to get out of our system mm-hmm. and just like argue for a few months get pissed off at each other <laughs> and then it's gonna be all settled settled there's gonna be a bunch of people with these cool new controllers mm-hmm. and they're gonna be having this posture that everybody's like why are they doing that <laughs> because you you really can't you really can't sit down no, and do that you can't. you, gotta, you, gotta you have, you're forced to do this and it's the it's amazing it's amazing i to feel like that. my melee skill will go down <laughs> even further sitting like this but uh yeah some of the smash 4 players i was watching smash 4 players play teams because you know they don't really worry about the ergonomics or anything Mm. because they don't have to press that many buttons but um they uh it was smash 4 playing teams at unlv and like they were all like so close they were like all so leaned in that they're like all this close to each other it was so funny yeah they all get the opposite they all get like and they're all just they're in there. And they really are. Yeah, really. I feel Mid- like the players are like, I feel like scooter chairs on the back. Factor. I think that is a young young person's game. <laughs> like, younger people like leaning in and yeah, stuff like that. Um, but you know, the, the sitting straight thing was a big deal to me. Like, actually, watching the Tafo and Caitlyn ergonomics video that they did, mm-hmm. that's why I beat ASAM. That's, mm-hmm. part, that's part of the reason, man. Deep breath, sitting straight, keeping, like, good, good posture, and, like, actually practice that in mm-hmm. practice. And, and that's part of your head, isn't it? 
Yeah, I always like I would like, do this, and then you do your your. Rhythm. Oh yeah, do, oh actual during actual hand warmers. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't even play. I just you I just stretch. Do that, and then you're like, you can do. Yeah, I stretch before a tournament. I stretch before um, bracket. Um, like if there's pull ups bracket, then I'll stretch again. Um, and then if I'm in like a big break, then I'll probably stretch one more time. If anyone does hand warmers, I just do like the basic flicks and the stretches and stuff like that. I start stretching when my hands hurt, and then I stop after they hurt, and then I forget to keep stretching. And then stretching. they start hurting again. It's, and then, yeah. it's a cycle. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I think um, is a little underestimated is taking a decent chunk of time off every once in a while. Oh, taking a break? Till, yeah, taking a break. Let your hands rest for a week or so, and then let, letting that textile come kind of come back to you. Because uh, there was a good chunk of time where I was just constantly grinding, my hands hurt, and I didn't feel like I was getting any better. And it's happened on a couple of times where I was taking a week off, and then I came back, and everything was infinitely better. Mm-hmm. I definitely agree. Taking so, breaks are great. Yeah, taking a, a week off every couple, you know, a month, every month or so. Maybe take a couple of days off where you don't play any melee, so let your hands rest and stop hurting so much. I also believe the same concept ish. Like uh, going into a tournament, you don't want to play like super a lot the day before. Kind of just yeah. rest, mm-hmm. think about the game. The, the, and you have to like, if you're planning on going uh, to bigger tournaments, you kind of have to like play around that too. Yeah. Like two or three weeks before that, have the, oh, I'm going to take my rest week. And then it's like slowly build it up. And then that weekend, you're playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday all day. Mm-hmm. Sunday would be hopeful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sunday, that's, that's reaching. <laughs> or, or late Saturday afternoon is reaching. Because <laughs> I think Sucks. that's nerds. <laughs> is that is that, that Shugs? Is that Michael O'Brien in the chat? Is that someone that linked on your Facebook? It may be. <laughs> Dude, Suggs? Is that Sug Money? <laughs> Wait, oh, is that Suggs or Sug? Oh, that's hilarious. Nerds. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that that username before too. I don't know. I I the, though I love Dustin and Smashbox and Hitbox team. Uh, I am looking forward to what Hacks has to provide Absolutely. as a perspective because clearly he's way better at the game than Gravy has ever been, and uh, I think he'll have a, a unique perspective on it on the controller mm-hmm. itself. At the same time, that also is like. Hex has a very specific way of playing that very specifically mm-hmm. destroyed his hands. Uh, <laughs> the ergonomics <laughs> expert. Uh, so like, uh, I want. I wonder like if his stuff might be like very specifically catered to him and how how weird that be. And it, it seems like he's got a very his own point of view and can't look at a third person mm-hmm. end of things. Uh, that was kind of. Uh... A critique of the original Smashbox for me was you can tell that one uh, Dustin doesn't play melee, right? And two, he plays Fox in melee, mm-hmm. and because so he wants of... to be able to shine and yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was the shine. shining and laser stuff, and then the moment I was like, Nairs are hard. Mm-hmm. Why are you making Nairs hard? He doesn't play melee. <laughs> He's not used to Nairing like this, <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, you can't really do this. I, yeah, I think that was hard, and jump canceling grab was kind of hard. That was easy for me. That was actually easier for me on the on that version of Smashbox than it does on a GameCube mm. controller. Something else that was really simple that was really hard for me when I was playing with it. Uh, I could never decide on, on like the the rectangle layout, like which button to jump with. I could never decide. Oh, I I chose the the middle finger. Okay, yeah. So yeah, so basically, or not which finger, which button? It was. Well, X was on the ring finger. Oh. It was down. It was bottom row. Oh, ring okay, finger. okay, back. But neutral air was. It was middle finger, and you had to do this. Oh yeah. Oh, same finger for yeah. jump and. Yeah, and there's. Uh, I was huh. like, I was starting to feel it right here. I'm like, yeah, ah, you would. That is not something I, <laughs> I want. Um, pivots were hard for me, but it's because the GameCube controller is analog, and it. So I think forward and it takes that amount of time to get forward and then instead of back, immediately where on there it's like and so i had to like okay i can't do that and on top of that there's ways to pivot better on the smash box because you, you use plinking 
which is hitting two buttons almost right at the same time. Uh-huh. And once I learned that, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, pivoting's pretty easy. <laughs> You still have a Smashbox, Dustin gave you. Oh, no, that, that was what I was trying to say earlier, is that one was being held at uh, press start, oh, and then okay. uh, they grabbed it, and that's the one they're going to update. <laughs> oh, God, there's going to be a... Use it for poems. Copy wow. pasta. Cold Pedro isn't the best Falcon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, okay, I'm going to make a contest of, like, the, be- the best uh, copy pasta using Cold Pedro isn't the best Falcon. You have to do the entire thing and have to reword it for... For the mall. <laughs> That's all I have for the Smashbox. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited mean, to get mine. I'm excited Apple to get mine, and really? um, I will have two of them, so I will have no problem lending them out if anybody wants to use them. So you play pledge eight hundred? No, I'll have an alpha and a. Oh, and a okay, okay. I thought. Okay, yeah. That's I'll fine. have two of them too. I'm hoping the alpha, like you could maybe update it to the final build. I'm not sure, like how much more it's gonna change. I don't think it's going to change much. Okay. Mm-hmm. It really depends on... Yeah. The, the thing it'll, about... It'll probably be like a few millimeters on a button. Okay, yeah. And maybe like one button swap if that. Okay. I was thinking it would be a cool collector's item. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, um, one of the things that we were a little worried about is because he said you program your own angles and characters on the alpha build and things like that, is that means it has a programmable board in it, which means it's not legal for, for Evo. Because yes. there's no programmable mm-hmm. boards allowed at Evo. Correct. So the alpha build is not legal at Evo, and then the the actual Smashbox itself, even though he said it would be legal at the tournament, they're not getting shipped out till August. So there's just not going to be any mm-hmm. Smashboxes at Evo. Oh, anything. So that. yeah, so that. So, but the current Smashboxes out there is yeah. legal for Evo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to get around that. Maybe the. Hmm. Okay, I'll think about if, it. As a TO, a programmable board, if, if Evo is saying that is not legal, I think that's precedence enough to say it should not be legal at tournaments. Well, okay. It, right. I guess, it de- like, circuits-wide, it's like, I may be wrong about this, it's been a while. Like, mm-hmm. it depends, like, how programmable is it? It's like, if it's on, like, the actual hardware level. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I'm thinking wrong about this. No, it would have to, no, it's still program. Never mind, yeah. Because it's like. It's going to be like plugging to USB and you have to, de- you could download which profiles you want to use for what. I'm, I'm assuming that's how it's going to be. Yeah. But I guess that's not allowed. So, yeah. We just know. need a better, we need an updated, maybe HD version of Melee, perhaps, <laughs> <laughs> with custom controls. <laughs> I don't know. And see, like, if that's something that they had considered, Melee would have had that. Melee mm-hmm. would have, because uh, Brawl had it. And uh, Smash 4, I'm sure, still probably still I love the yeah, programmable buttons on, uh, on Brawl. Brawl had a lot of, like, quality of life stuff that was awesome. Um, tap, cancel, and then, or tap, jump, You can turn off, tap, jump, which, like, now that I play Melee, I'm like, why would I ever turn tap, yeah, tap jump off? Right. But, oh, um, my God, my Squirtle was a beast with tap, jump <laughs> off. You uh, just get so many up tilts into up airs. <laughs> raising the roof. Speaking of which, I just got Rivals of Aether. Uh-huh. And tap jump off is actually pretty amazing. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> because I always get screwed over and lose my jump by trying to DI. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. And with tap jump off, that doesn't happen. <laughs> but I like the I like of smash out a shield. Well, yeah. you just throw in an <laughs> extra jump. Right? Yeah, I was gonna say anytime I try to SDI, yeah, let's make it harder. Uh, here, I don't know. I don't. Up, yeah. I probably use my jump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the thing in Rivals, there's no shield, so you don't need to up Yeah, up like, shield. I can't wrap my head around there's no that. Shield. Right, it makes sense to yeah. me in Rivals, yeah, definitely. There's, there's no shielding. shielding. So it's, no, it's, it's a one-tap, and you do a... <laughs> yeah. uh... Well, there's pairing, which could be okay, the scissors, yeah. but that is, like, a super hard read. Okay. It's different than the uh, third strike parry, but uh, if you get the right parry, you're, the person who did the attack is in stun, and you can do basically whatever you want to them. I don't know. I think, like, when I heard about the game, like, no blocking, like, I don't know how deep this game could be. <laughs> but apparently, it can't. Oh, Jelly! That's fucking good, dude. Wow. Jelly! <laughs> is this the Jelly really? I'm thinking is this, of? Is this the Jelly? That's Jeff, dude. Brother of Geoff? Remember they used to use the opposite Twitches? Oh. Yeah, they used yeah, the same Geoff, is this you? Say something. Say something, something, I'm giving up on you. 
Yeah. All right. I think we should call it a wrap because right. I got to drive to the home and uh, get home myself and go to work tomorrow. Yeah, same. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to make a quick sad announcement. I'm actually going to be stepping out of tournament com- competition for an undisclosed amount of time. Uh, <laughs> it's just not going good for me right now as far as like being satisfied with playing. And then when I win, it doesn't even feel good either. Uh, so I'm going to be on a hiatus as far as Smash Brothers goes for a little bit. I'm still play friendlies and still be part of the community, but I just won't be competing as much. Um, I'm going to try to go to Super Pones. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, uh, depending on work and whatnot, but I'm going to try to go at least just to be there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be competing for a while. Probably won't be ranked in this coming season. We'll see. I don't know how long it's going to be, but... It's kind of like wherever life takes me is what's going to happen. So just thought I'd get that out there. I didn't want to. I'm see, I want to start being a cam girl. Yeah. <laughs> How you found out so quickly, I don't know. But <laughs> uh, Spreadsheet tonight, maybe like midnight. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, thanks. Still... I mean, I'm still going to be around, but yeah. Just not going to be competing for a little bit. Maybe another open spot on PR. Yeah, it's going to be even that's, easier now. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> well, JPEG will take that spot. <laughs> All right. well, he's not going anywhere. He's still going to be around, guys. <sighs> All right. Bye, chat. Bye, Put chat. Thank Thanks you. for coming out yeah. and watching. All right. Adios.